Riley's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. You're not sexually harassed by employees. I don't like that she. I don't like that Gabby did dress like Olivia and John at the end of Greece. Oh, Lewis is her bad boy that she's found. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. Step. Rattlesnake. <laughs> I almost stepped on a grit. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We haven't been back for a while. We got to get in the rehearsal. I space. like it. Is, I don't know. Have, have, have we met one time before, Gabby? Is that what it is? No. We never met ever. I don't think so. She's hot, but she got a goofy voice. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Like, I'll you're, take that. You're coming with some real Project Runway energy. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely face, stupid voice, die in a fire. <laughs> can I get a little more juice in my headphones? Yeah, new you Chris Scopo? Yeah, you can have one. He's not oh. new Chris Scopo. Okay. That's uh, new guy Zach. Uh, new guy Zach. Yeah, new Chris Scopo is... A little more. On, um, oh, there it is. Is yeah. on uh, oh, that's sweet. Chip Show. Oh, really? This is new guy Zach. Oh, so you moved... You moved... New Chris Scopo. You're out of breath. I'm always out of breath. I've learned that. If you've listened to any of my videos on Instagram, I'm literally sitting in a chair going, <sighs> Leave me reason. breathless. Why do you have two microphones, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> Bobby, you're going to hate it. be fun. <laughs> hey, could you turn my cans down? Yeah, can you actually God. turn mine down a little too? I like, I like getting mine. blown out of the tits here. I like mine being nice and loud. I want okay, to know. Are, yeah, I'm good right now. How's this that? Is, is that good? Oh, That's perfect. What you just did is perfect. Can you blast heavy metal music at all just through my can at all times? Just through mine. I'll blast something through your can. My oh! dick. Hey, <laughs> fucking in the ass. You know what? I thought we we're having a thing where like dudes are united today. We're not fucking with each other. It's no all penis fucking. on penis crime. Yeah, we're just fucking gonna be taking shots at this one over here. Which one? The girl. Why? She, why are we gonna take shots sh- at her? Because yeah. it's men versus women right now. That's we're, not. It's, it's not men versus it's women. An attack on our fucking penises and balls. Men versus women. Gabby, guess what? Now you can't leave. What, Bro, is it? What? <laughs> what is that? That's from Goodfellas. No, what? not Goodfellas. From, um, from Bronx Tale. Sorry. Bronx Tale. All right, relax. Why are you going to jump down my throat? Well, they're not similar. People put, <laughs> sometimes people just throw Bronx Tale in there with Goodfellas and the God. They're like, the Goodfellas, Godfather, the same Bronx same guy's Tale. in it. It doesn't matter. He's also in Marvin's room. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that, too. Bronx Tales. Dang. There was, there Dirty was Mar- Grandpa. Dude. Goodfellas. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Marvin's room. Dude. When he Raging went and shut the door, and he's like, you can't leave can the room now. Can you turn my cans down, please? <laughs> I'm very hot. We're all hot. So loud. I'm getting blown out of the, the it's water. It's crazy when I'm listening to Mine are fucking perfect. Now it's perfect. perfect. Now it's sexy. There we go. What I don't even like a, a can. Is he a DJ for, like, corn? What is he? I don't understand what that is. Well, he does look like a tattoo assistant. I don't like that he has to punch up your jokes. Thanks, Dan. Tag team. <laughs> men, <laughs> men United. Oh, no, does no, Corn no. Have a, <laughs> Does Corn have a oh, DJ, no, by no. the way? Yeah, yeah. They have yeah. a DJ? Of course they do. Why oh. are you using two microphones? Oh. Stop it. You're going to give a press conference. I like it. It's a tiny mouth, two big mics. We played a good game, and um, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to watch the tape and make improvements. And my kids, I'm proud of my, my kids. <laughs> I'm proud of my boys. Um, <laughs> I don't understand why it's men against women. What does that mean? It's a war, dude. Because Lewis a war. is provocative. It's a war. He's what? He's provocative, He's Bobby. Not, that's the last word I would ever put with Lewis. That's what Esquire just put a long article out called The Provocative Life of Lewis J. No, <laughs> problematic. Oh, I read that wrong. Yeah. I am illiterate. De- 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 Bobby, don't play dumb. You know it's a war right now between men and women, and you got to fucking choose a side. No, you know? I don't like I, that you're Is everything all right? Yeah. Sound is good? Yeah. You sure? How are you getting like, all the sounds? He's just freaking out in the background right now. He's dancing. Yeah, he's freaking happening. out. Why are you freaking out? I'm making sure everyone's headphones. Everybody's good. He's man. playing yeah. video games. The power went out uh, apparently <laughs> in the last two weeks, so we had to reset everything. Take morning. his microphone away. What the fuck was that? That's Mike S. That's Mushy Mike. He talks once in a while, and that was legitimate. <laughs> it's mushy every time he tries it. <laughs> yeah. Mike, so the power went out. No apparently. shit. Yeah, we had to reset everything. Okay, why are your forearms don't match the rest of your body? What do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. I just said that. I, I shouldn't have said anything. That's why. <laughs> it's a whole new team. I've never met any of these people. You met oh, me five Very times. Strange. You? Yeah. yeah, five times. He's Shut worked up. with you twice. Lies. I know, I know Mike for many years. Uh, San Antonio. Uh, a year, but I've never seen him here. Yeah, he's the. He's, yeah, you have. He saw here. me last December. Yeah, he last December he was here. Oh. Yeah, but you weren't working oh, on no, the show. Working, or right. You were sitting in the back. Do you count thing. that time as one of my times? Huh? No, I'm, I'm, just like take that times. off because that doesn't fucking. Count. Lewis, you're making him nervous. <laughs> no, he, he makes doesn't. everybody nervous. That's right. You should be nervous around me. I'm the most powerful Louis in comedy now, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably. I think Louis Katz is yeah. way ahead no. of you. Even Louis Anderson. No. Louis yeah. Anderson has still got you. Louis Anderson. He's gonna be gone soon too, dude. Didn't he try to rape Tom Segura or somebody? Oh boy. No, Tom Rhodes. Yeah. That's it. 
He didn't try to rape Tom I Rhodes. I swear to God, Tom Rhodes told the story on his podcast. It got some traction about how Louis Anderson cornered him in his hotel room and grabbed his dick yeah. and fucking tried to fuck him. That was the road. He should that retell it. That was the road it. back then. <laughs> he should retell it now. It'll, it'll, it'll be the end of him. No, he did. He did talk <laughs> about it recently on a thing. Oh, I'm saying now. Now. It changes Say day it to day. Yeah. This moment. Who knows This is your happen. shot. I wake up every morning and I just hit my t- turn my computer on. And I'm like, oh, what's, what's going to happen here? Am <laughs> I destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> Lewis every morning. Is this the end? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, they counted all the times I said the N word. Oh. 998. Oh, look, someone, someone put it in a YouTube video. <laughs> 990 <laughs> nigger times. <laughs> that's oh, Jesus. There is close to a thousand. That's just that's Ooh. just a fame barometer, because <laughs> I knew like nobody. <laughs> everybody wanted to know what does Burr think, what does Rogan think. Nobody asked what does Bob think nope, about no. what happened to Louis. <laughs> hey Bob, <laughs> yeah, they just they would almost. Not one fan gave me shit for. I haven't said a word about what happened to Louis. And... Not one word on social media. Not one person went. You need to give your. If you're not saying anything, well, because that's you're bullshit. Part of the problem. The people that are saying that you need to say something are bullshit. Yeah. That's all bullshit. That's all gang mentality. Where yeah. they're like, I said something, you say something. You have to say something because I. You don't have to say shit. Right. It's very strange. It's all very strange. <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone has their uh, uh, thing, and they need to hear everyone else's thing. And it's a very sick. It's just a culture of it's, yeah. It's a culture of people yelling over each other, much like this podcast. But we'll and, say it right now. We all stand with Louie. <laughs> See, this is where Lewis gets interesting because he takes hard. He's a hardliner, as they yeah, call it. Right, what am I going to do? Look, dude, I, I see things as black and white. Am I going to say that Louis, by being an adult man and asking a woman, "Hey, can I jerk off in front of you?" Is, is that it, does that make him a horrible person or a, or a rapist or a sexual offender? No, he should, no, he should not be put in At the work. same category as Harvey Weinstein or yeah. or Kevin Spacey. And but he's a fat, per- but, but he's fa- perverted shit. Okay, wait a We're second. We're all perverts. Yeah, sure. To not everybody. Degree. I'm jerking I've, off not, right not everybody. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Joe's going real hard. I finished. We should all just take our dicks out and jerk on in solidarity. <laughs> I you guys, a, a four dick salute. Yeah. yeah, yeah say, Mike, dick. Mike doesn't have a dick? Well, I thought that was going to be the four of us. No, my oh, staff can't do that. Yeah, the yeah. staff, that's they him using to, his they, power. They have a job to do. That's power yeah. dynamics. Yeah, yeah. Hold my, on, Gabby, we're just kidding. My dick oh, is a staff. You. She really does have a goofy voice. I don't think Thank so. What's wrong with sounds very voice. normal to me. Hello. Come on. No, he does. Very regular. She does. Oh. It's very Muppet. That's what I sound like? Oh, oh, oh that's what I sound like? Yeah, you heard it. Because I said Muppet. Once I said Muppet, it's not everything unlocked. If she pops out of nowhere. What did I say? I want a coffee. Is it time to eat fish? <laughs> Thank you for coming to me. I feel yeah, sexy. That's the letter O. I love doing this podcast. This, this was brought to you by the letter P. I'm so glad Start Lauren to... left. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll yeah. take it. Uh, Please don't cut me. I'm feeling uh, with And I'll tell you why Why we, this this podcast is always so great, and this is why we're all having fun right now, is because we're being trained to not shit on women, yeah. and we're just treating like an equal. This just happens to be the thing it's we're fine. doing right now. I know it is, okay? Yeah. But the problem now is- Now it is. Ooh, for equal. <laughs> Ten years from now, when I got a hit show and she comes out, they made fun of me. I Call was, me a muppet. If you watch the video, I was cornered in the riot. Cast the only one that didn't say anything was, was the guy with the small mouth. I forget his name. He's not in the business but anymore. He was feverishly jerking off. So, <laughs> Ten years from now, I'm out of the business, and you have a hit show. Are you crazy? It's my fantasy. All right, fine. Also, well, Joe kind of looks like Beaker from the Muppets. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think your voice is regular. I got a very regular yeah, voice. You're just playing that. Hang on, hang on. Stop, stop, stop. What's up? Let's say a few hey. sentences. Say, how was your weekend? It was really good. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. I, you I think to you're do dumb, so but dumb. <laughs> do you have a boyfriend? It was good. No. No. Why not? No. My shitty voice. Wait, I need a multiple sentences. Tell us. Because I'm filled uh, with cotton and I have no vagina. <laughs> What? Well, my vagina is, there's a hole for a hand. I don't know what I'm but there's a guy's hand on my ass right now. If you came in me, it'd be a lot of cleanup. <laughs> Gee that was Dan whiz. Soda. Uh, I don't know. I I stand we're with... all doing voices. <laughs> I stand with Louie, but not you three. This is oh. offensive. Mm. Well, back to Lou. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he, I mean, okay. He does not belong. This is what sucks. This is what we have. I think this is what I'm having a hard time struggling with. First of all, he's my friend. Wait. He's my friend. <laughs> 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 that was I'm, uh, that was Lewis's good one for the day. <laughs> well, come on. He's like, <laughs> I, I set up the whole thing with her dumb voice. No, I I'm didn't no- care for it. <laughs> 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 also, she set it up by sounding goofy. <laughs> <laughs> you said she sounded normal. Why are you uh, whatever? Don't John Carey. I don't like that Mike when he laughs gets fatter. 
<laughs> like a blowfish. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> guys, you're making me laugh. <laughs> Let's follow my prey. <laughs> Blowfish Mike. Uh, Guys, <laughs> stop being humorous. <laughs> <laughs> Kick it out of this chair if you keep being funny. <laughs> Leaking over the side. Only Soto would know how a blowfish really does it. I'm all noises and voices, baby. Uh, noises and voices. The next album, right off the uh, press uh, from Sconce's Records. Oh, uh, the white Michael uh, Winslow. I, uh, I, I think that we're having a hard time because, we, I, first of all, he's my friend. Mm. I really love Louie. He's done so much for me. I'm a. I had a kid because of Louie. What? Because did he throw his jism at you and you <laughs> caught it and put it in Don? No, because I talked to I talked to him uh, at Just for Laughs. Yeah. When uh, I first met him or hung out with him actually, um, at the Nasty Show, and and we talked for days, you know, and we became friends there. And uh, at what point did he ask if he could jerk off in front of you? Second day. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, goes, he goes. What are you I, doing? I didn't That's let him till the third. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but he had a kid. But it, made it, such a, it made it such a big load when he finally came. He oh, uh, this is the best. It's called edging. Yeah. He uh, <laughs> he. T- <laughs> 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 I, was, uh, <laughs> I like dance. He was just yeah. That's the best. Is it really? It's <laughs> called edging? engine. Yeah, it's yeah, called you, edging. Yeah, when you're close you, to yeah, coming, and you, you don't come. You let go, and then you like it's a huge load, dude. Yeah, you super soaker. Yeah, but if you don't if you don't do it for like four days before and then do it, woof. A four day edge. Yeah. Girls don't want you to <laughs> four edge. Day. <laughs> you know, there's a, there's actually an antidote to it too. If your wife is there, yeah. then it doesn't happen. Girls, oh, do girls, do, girls that Mom Dana perfectly. I got it right here. Girls yeah. don't like giant loads. You know what I do? Because my girlfriend's a feminist. When I eat her out, instead of doing the alphabet, I just write Trump on her pussy. There you go. There you go. All right. Yes, Bang. Just making sure that thing still works on all sides. That joke sucks. Wow. <laughs> I saw I saw a sucky joke also, coming. I we know Lois we know Lu- Lois? Lewis we know Lewis so much. Well. Lois. I call him Lois. I call <laughs> we know Lewis so well that yeah. he did bit voice at the yeah, end. Yeah, I did it. Where he goes bit. instead. That was Trump. Oh. Yeah, but then he did a three camera shoot look. He went. <laughs> <laughs> I uh. Should, Edit. <laughs> should have did a Mr. Roper just. Mm. <laughs> Sad. But. I, way, can I not try to that on the show? I, yeah, please do. Okay, Make cool. it funny. We'd love for you to try to do that. I've been trying every time. Listen, I think that it's because we're friends with him, but I, I had my kid because if a guy like him, I was I talked to him what a good dad he was. What a, you know, I just was like, wow, if he can do it, I can do it. I was like, and we talk, I talked about being a dad and all that stuff. And he was like, you should do it. And he And I was, it was like this turning point. Like when I was going to get married or actually be with my chick for real mm-hmm. i actually had a big conversation with colin quinn about that because he had a situation we had he was married and things mm-hmm. didn't work and blah 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 and he gave me great advice on being married now here i am married with a kid and louis was part of that kid and i actually told him that uh like six months ago i was like you know you're one of the reasons i had a kid because i didn't think i could do it i didn't think i could be a dad yeah. you know um and uh so and he was uh, like, he was like, thanks, Bobby. You know, I feel like nothing can go wrong in my life right now. Because yeah, what can I say? I'm 100. percent There's nothing to worry about with me. <laughs> but I feel you bad. are okay. But the, the thing is, is though, is that I think you have to. People are struggling with. He's my friend. What happened to him is way too much. We, it's it's too much. It's they took away I, everything. I personally, but, I'm personally disgusted by his agents and managers dropping him right. because it's such a shallow obvious move yeah where they're like we don't we don't work with him see we're not bad I don't we don't even that. condone that and it's like you fucking you, leeches you're gonna have that to- when the smoke clears mm-hmm. in six months they start kicking around going come on buddy you know i loved you we just had to do that for the cameras what about it's the fucking- what about the agents and managers that are calling up trying to find out what's going on with his agents and managers oh good for them they're getting they're fucking getting a steal. Oh yeah, I got him coming in for a meeting with Cast Digital next week. <laughs> Doing a I, podcast. That'd be hilarious if Louis he was Louis. Louis. All right. I would be worried for Louis. <laughs> I'd reach out to you or Joe and I'd be like, hey, if you want, like, tell Louis to go to Allen. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's on Cast Digital now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna and call it we're gonna call it cum stain with Louis C.K. And Michael be awesome. Bisping. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that's where we're at now. You have to uh because everyone gets mad at you. People are mad at Aziz for not leaving Dave that's- Becky. Insane. So it's like that you have to do it. It's, that's it's not I'm... the manager's and agent. It's, the, it's no, the whole culture. No, that's his act. They're mad at him for his act. Mm. No, we got it. We, mad yeah, at him you, don't, for you his can't act. repeat it. He's not a good comic. <laughs> we need a, we need a, uh, I wish you had a puppet. <laughs> we can blame all yeah, these can on. I, can I put my hand up your ass, Gabby? Uh, oh, for really? the bit. For the bit. We need a bomb, Dana, switch? and we need a. Oh, wait, I didn't realize that was an attempted humor, Dana. 
<laughs> no, you know what we do? We need an, we need an attempt muzzle. So you have to put a muzzle. Why on. would you even step on it? He barely got out of that one. I, oh, I'm his friend. All right. Yeah, so I put his hand down. I put my hand down. He's a good guy. And I was hey, watching Lewis. To, Lewis was already on fire to my left. So I looked at Joe and I went, "We can get out of here. <laughs> <Yeah>. Grab my <laughs> hand." California wildfires. <laughs> hey, my Remember? grandma lives up there. That's not cool, bro. That's sensitive. You're triggering me. Well, you have a girlfriend? Did she Dude, we're it's a new culture, bro. You have a girlfriend? No, my grandmother. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. fucking my nana. You had oh, one. Oh, Again? Oh. She's such a whore. Hey, you shut up. Yeah, She's dude. in all my wedding photos. Yeah, dude. Your grandmother was at I a had wedding? so many photos of ex-girlfriends in my wedding. There's like three big breakups right after my oh, thing. Me? Yeah, one. I'd rather not name names. Name names. Yeah, Sarah right. Talamash. <laughs> uh, That's your wife. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, dude, he has like the- You, has, who else? Uh, I don't know who- uh, You liar. I don't know the other Are two. you lying? No, was, I swear to God- Do you know, know one of them? Two. I'm gonna guess one. All right, go guess one. Mark guess Norman. One. No, I think they're together. Okay. But there's see, a couple I'm others. Out. But people what? bring girls who willy-nilly. Else? I wasn't. That was not willy nilly. Why can't you say it? I'm that, not saying you were willy nilly. I was I'm not a willy nilly. Some willy nilly. That was uh, a very special person to me at that moment in time, and I brought her Your finger is making me uncomfortable. Can I give you Bill Clinton thumb? <laughs> You're giving me savage finger. <laughs> since Everyone knows she left me in a very tough spot. Yeah. <laughs> between the chicken and the yeah. fucking ham. In between dessert and dancing. <laughs> she that? said I don't Look, feel it. Hang on one second. <laughs> Did you see his Macho Man impression? Yeah, do me a favor and don't. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> I've never seen him try to do Macho Man. That was fucking wow. That was bad. That bad? He was just watching. He tried to go higher, and he doesn't realize that his voice is three octaves higher than Macho Man, so he thought because you go higher. Yeah. Funny he was to... As I was doing it, I went, why are you doing this? And Lewis, I looked at Lewis, and he, he was already staring at me like this. It was bad. <laughs> also, the fingers you did for Macho Man are the fingers you use in your own act. You're like, dude, you fucking fucker. We got it. I got it. I I'm got acting it, it out. What do you need? Right. I got to act it out. Yeah. Um, what are you looking for? Tissue, guys. And that made me laugh and snot shot out of my neck. You got, uh. It's not my fault. Give me one, too. I came. Get, no. <laughs> she's hot, dude. Fuck what do you mean yeah. she's hot? What are you talking oh, about? God, Stop it. I can hear you in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Don't guys. forget. Hey, I'm a human, too. A, Don't forget. B, C, D, E, F, G. Hey, kids, did you know if you eat carrots at night, you can see better in the dark? <laughs> do you know what a lever is? <laughs> That's la, la, Bobby. La, 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 Gabby's world. <laughs> Welcome to Gabby's world. <laughs> I'm an assistant for Bobby, and I'm learning my Way. <laughs> for Bobby, no <laughs> wow. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. No. Uh, yeah, you will. What, will you stop? Okay. What? That All right. Okay. You stop. Okay. okay. Twenty-seven. She, leave her alone. Wake I'm up. Do anything. Be She's only sixteen. I know. Yeah. Are you? Oh fuck. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, you are. Is that sweet? The Oh my God! Lewis has a Rolodex of Age of Consent. It'd be so state. great if, if he did this with her and it took all the heat off of Louis. Yeah, Good. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. What if I told you the problem went deeper? Louis J. Gomez is some blogger jerking off while they write it. That GQ piece is fucking ridiculous. Which one was about the GQ? All, about, about all, all men, all male comedians. All, all, all men. this fucking all read guy. It, read it. Clearly, oh, I this guy clearly wrote this. In order to impress a girl. It's too that he's long, like, right, really. ladies, look at me. Aren't I muscular? Those big guys are mean. You know what I like? Happy stuff. You <laughs> fucking tool. <laughs> you fucking tool. And GQ, you should be ashamed of yourself. But they had Kevin <laughs> so, Spacey on the cover, Lewis on the cover, Louis on the They've had all these guys yeah, on the cover. It's just funny. This is the, the name of the article. Why all comedy men are so awful. Isn't that this is the best though? We go oh. Google the Google the article by GQ about how men comedians are all awful you type in gq and it says stephen colbert man of the year yeah, yeah. who is on he's a, a comedian, comedian. Who, yeah who's a male comedian yeah it's just really convenient when they want well, to forget they who, when they want to when it's like a group right now like male comedians that's the buzzword <laughs> to fucking nail it's like let's get male comedians there it is right there and he's and, and he's the face of it like and louis all comedy men yeah why all That's comedy? So that doesn't phrase. mean just stand-up. That means improv. That means writers. That means fucking you're saying all men in comedy. And they well, are improv all awful, but stand-up comedy Well, yeah, we all know that. If you're a male but what, What's improv. this guy's name? Drew McGarry? Oh, he's a humorist. Look him up. <laughs> Anybody that calls himself a humorist needs to be hit in the head with a brick. Uh, they oh, they not, wait a minute. Not stop, a legion of skanks. Oh, bonfire That's right, right, motherfuckers. Why can't it be defense? Up in arms, bitch. Find Drew McGarry. No, don't do that. <laughs> hi, I'm, hi, I'm Dan Soder, the voice of reason. Don't do that. 
Can right, I read some of this? McGarry, Lewis, can you read some of this? All right, Richard oh, Pryor was angry. Hold no, on. No, no. Don't read this. He goes, I can tell you which articles to go to, go. Or which paragraphs, because okay. he basically tells the story of Richard Pryor and why Richard Pryor beat on his wife and was yeah. terrible, but he was still funny because he was honest. Then he shits on Kinnison. Um, go down, because he really starts getting yeah, self-righteous. Go down, Mike. Yeah. Okay, don't, Mike. Go go down if you feel comfortable going down. Get down, down. Mike. I thought you were doing it. On the most, because it's me, Kelly Fasuka. I put a curse on all male comedians. <laughs> except <laughs> the ones who make meats and cheeses. <laughs> ah, ah, not, you're all cursed. You're all doomed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last two paragraphs, right, are the, uh, th- those two are fucking Read terrible. those, Lewis. <laughs> okay, uh, now let's talk about the, that community for a minute. Because it's very insular and very protective. If you go by the list of the greatest comedians of all time, it's a community that has harbored a great number, perhaps a disproportionate number, of misogynists, abusers, and shitbags. Whoa, stop, shit stop bags. one second. That's good writing. You're misogynists. fucking calling people shitbags? I mean, that's. This accurate. guy's calling people shitbags. I don't even mind being a misogynist, an abuser, or a shitbag. Just right. own it. Stop pretending we're good dudes. Are you not realizing this? Stop pretending we're Buddy, good. Buddy, you. Stop. Stop it. You can be a good guy no. and a fucking and a shitbag. Also, you, you can you can have I'm a, good guy. I'm a good guy and do shitbag things. I'm sometimes. a good guy. You're where you dude, <laughs> when you're with your fa- when you're with your son, not your father cuz he's dead. And he was a shitbag. <laughs> First off, we're always with our father cuz our father's God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> So we're always with our father. Dan, I, I will throw hot tea Listen, in your man, face. we're trying to pick out communities to get. Lewis has got the fucking jail people. I'm going after Christians. Jail Joe's going people. after the silent type. Gabby's going after Muppets. <laughs> yeah, 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 puppets. <laughs> so I think that we just, but you, when you're saying shit bags and you're saying uh, abusers, abusers, Mi- misogynist is one thing. Abuser is a fucking whole other thing, bro. Yeah, and it but sounds that, well by that's... their definition of abuser. We're all abusers. It if sounds you, like they're every going... Every woman I've ever dated has been like, oh, he's emotionally manipulative and he's fucking crazy. Yeah, dude, because if you're in love with somebody, that's where it fucking goes when it goes south. You become emotionally manipulative. Yeah. You get fu- you get under each other's fucking nerves. Mm. You get each other a little bit crazy. Every single Can you say person... it without so much passion? Thank God oh, I'm no. not in love with my wife. <laughs> you're also... passionless, Joe. I'm, you're not going to deal with any of this. Yeah, you, you are. Passionless. Pass- Passionless. I'm the most passionate guy here. No, you're not. Uh, you're, just because you fucking talk like an animal and wave your arms and skip around in your racist. dumb fucking seat doesn't mean you're passionate. It means you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's speechless. No, I'm passionate. I just like that they're describing comedians the way that it's like a 1920s, like vagabonds, dirtbags, <laughs> grotesque. They'll uh, steal everything dozens, you got. Dozens of women say Bill Cosby is a rapist. Woody Allen's daughter says he raped her, a claim he has denied. Actress Tisha Campbell filed a lawsuit against Martin Lawrence. I never even knew this. Claiming oh. uh, sexual harassment and battery on the set of Martin. Harassment so severe that she apparently had producers banned him from the set of his own show. That is some fucking what? power there, Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Martin was banned from the set of his own show. Yeah. Okay. That's how crazy he was. That. Real ass dude of the week. Uh, <laughs> given what we know about Hollywood these days, it's a wonder that they can ad- accommodate her request. These are not sad clowns. These are very famous, very powerful men who, in hindsight, appear to have used comedy to mask the truth more than illuminate it. In fact, it's telling that CK fell upon the quote unquote I have issues defense when woman woman said she confronted him about jacking off in front of women. When confronted, comedians have a nasty habit of defense. Of- Everybody does. It's called being accused of something. You get defensive when you're accused of something. This guy's a fucking moron. Of, Keep of going. Defensiveness and playing up the background issues that drive up the crave yucks. And for too long, the comedy world has indulged that ruse, letting a guy like CK invite your pity if he can get laughs. He's out of not her. inviting your pity. He's he, getting laughs at he, you. But he's he one just, of the greatest yeah, comedians. Yeah, but of he all just time. doesn't like that type of comedy. He's and a, a fucking lot of, idiot. But a lot of people. Oh, by the way, you I'll, can also find this guy on Artie Lang's podcast, just yucking it up about regular shit. So if you want to see, was he? Yeah, it's pretty convenient that this guy all of a sudden now is a fucking truth teller and on the side of I don't agree with that when he, he fucking he talks th- about Artie oh. in the article, right? Yeah, he talks Where? about Artie. And then, like, in the article. <laughs> hey, there he is, Joe Lispat. By the way, he just left. talks about a scene from Louis where Louis takes out that heckler and says, like, you know, it's that famous line where he's like, hey, look, a cunt's giving birth to a cunt. And because she talks, and this guy's like, now, yes, I know it's fictitious, but what does it really say? And it's like, dude, you're fucking digging for nothing now. Yeah. You look like an asshole. You look like a, like, I hope in five years 
or however long it is when all this calms down, we bring this back up to this guy. No, it'll this, be two years. Yeah, he's a fucking out of special idiot. in two But years. he's trying to manipulate the narrative yes. because he wants people yeah. to like his style of comedy. Which he's is, by the way, probably talk, not funny. He's trying to talk about this, our comedy, Louis' style of comedy, <clears throat> you know, Louis just does comedy. I don't think it's stylistically it's, uh, a different thing. I think he just is a very good comedian. But he's very honest. He, look, he's very honest with what he talks about. He talks about you know calling his kid an asshole, or he brought even his show was a reflection of his life, which is brutally honest, as opposed to a three camera shoot of five friends that live in New York and have problems. That's a horseshit show. Louis was one of the first shows to I, actually show gonna, gonna to show his. Friends. What's that? Was, friends was a good show. Yeah, that dude, was, why you gotta knock that it? That was six people. It, it, it actually, fucking annoyed me. Like never a, had I mean, rent I thought, problem. I never had, had rent problems. Well, of course, but I mean, I thought Lived that snappy dialogue happened. before. <laughs> I, mean, was, I think it, it's the nineties. <laughs> you know, I was a big fan of Chandler. It wasn't people said I reminded of people in this, so you know, I kind of identified. I was more of a Joey. I get it, dude. You're totally Joey. You're kind of the fucking You are a Ross. I hate Ross. He's the worst character in the thing. No, he's a nerd. He's a dinosaur. Science I hope, I hope oh. you get all get AIDS oh, well, and leave the planet. Late. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the show friends and I hate my own friends. <laughs> <laughs> See, I mean, you guys, you guys the Boston be... sentence Joe's ever <laughs> said. <laughs> you guys can all be the bitches in the other apartment. So, Bobby, you're uh, we the, got the it. fat one. What was the... There was no, no fat one. Yeah, otherwise, she was fatter when she oh, was younger. Oh, Phoebe. Phoebe. No, no, no. Phoebe was Oh, Courtney Cox. Courtney Rachel. 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 No, Rachel was no, fat. Rachel. No, Rachel. It was Monica. Monica. Who's Monica? Such Monica. Who's Monica? Monica. Who's Monica? Who's Monica? Who's Monica? <laughs> By the way, Courtney we end up dating. I'm not Show Monica. Monica. <laughs> Show fat <laughs> Monica. <laughs> Show me who looks just like him. I don't look like Monica. <laughs> Who's Monica? <laughs> fat Monica Courtney from Cox. From Friends. I think her last name is Lewinsky. Hey. Oh, shit. Images. Images. He knows Mike how to do it. Stinks at Googling. There, look. <laughs> wow, that is Bobby. The one in the pink shirt in the bottom left. That's one hundred percent Bobby. Oh, you're such a Monica, Bobby. What is fat Monica? I never knew that. Wow. Was a fat... That and then she <laughs> is stunningly like you. Gabby's Phoebe because she's got the goofy voice. Yeah. She's okay. like the blonde guys. with the goofy right. voice. Uh, and, and then you guys are together, you guys make Rachel. That really is me, god damn it. <laughs> Mike um, is nobody because no one brown was ever on the show. Go back to the go back to the other page. <laughs> Yeah, that was the time when you could just be like, hey, dude, all white cast dogs. And, they, and NBC went like this. Good job. <laughs> if, one of, if one of the roommates was black, they'd constantly be accusing him of stealing shit. I like, think. Tyrone, <laughs> where are my keys? He goes, man, I should have never I, taken this sublet. I think. <laughs> it's a bullshit ass sublet. I think that this guy. <laughs> the dude that's renting the couch. I don't know, man. Y'all put Robert's shit on ready that. to get things back on track. All right, shut boy. the fuck up. Okay. All right, with your side conversations. <laughs> it's funny. I know. It's shut up. <laughs> Bobby, I'm sorry about those guys. No, it's okay. Take over, buddy. Uh, what, oh, a, what a rock. Just... <laughs> <laughs> You're such a rock. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Fat Mon. Hey. What, what? the fuck? <laughs> oh, man, I but this, but this guy and the guy, who's the other guy? What's the guy? Guy. Guy Branham. Guy Branham. I mean, they're all latching well, themselves onto this they're thing. Writing, both of them are writing articles out of their own depth. They don't know what they're like. Guy Branham wrote an article about burning down the cellar table, but he the boy no he didn't write it was burning down the boys' club at the cellar table. Yeah, but then which doesn't exist. When people push back on him, he immediately fell to the argument of it was metaphorical. It was metaphor. It's not metaphorical. It's, like, it's, it's, it's then fucking you're a detailed. Then you're a terrible writer, and you have your own TV show, so I know you're not that bad of a writer. No, he like, he walks into the cellar, and like me, still to the everybody feels uncomfortable walking to that back table. I and constantly he, do, and I look at what I'm wearing and be like, "How can I?" Can I finish a thought sure. without you yapping over it? Sure. Yeah, you stupid fuck. You Sorry, Bob. Jesus Christ, Dan. I know you fucking have your own show, but let me have mine for one well, second. Well, it's really Big J show. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Both of you guys are right. Um, <laughs> I think that w everybody feels intimidated walking back there. It's not a boys' club. It's I feel fucking. It's a good comedian club. It's a men's club. You should feel intimidated <laughs> walking back to that table. It's it's mm. it's that's what the table is. Yeah, and where and, and he's not in it, and so he feels because of his own insecurities, he added some type of monster to that table, and it's guys, it's straight men, and it's not. First of all, there's a lot of gay guys that sit at that table, and most of the straight men are fucking queens anyways. <laughs> would fucking love trans to be at that table if there was trans comedians. You know? Do you know how much? Most of the straight guys at that table would love a hot tranny. Oh. Not even just a regular trans girl to be at that table. Top of, some of the top comics at the cellar would want that. Yeah, Norton would never have to leave and go somewhere else. Yeah, he'd, he'd never just, go on the road. Yeah. <laughs> just constantly work there. But it is, I think, a lot of this uh, this kind of culture and this like 
they want to take the intimidation out of everything yeah. because they, they're uncomfortable with intimidation because intimidation means that someone means behind it and it's just like, like you said, they're attributing a monster where there isn't one. Yeah, but okay, so burn the fucking table down and let me in your club, guy. Oh, they won't. Let me in your fucking, your, uh, your, your festival club that I don't get to go to. Yeah. Or, or even when I do, I'm not even part of it. I'm I'm on the I'm on the skirt the outskirts of it somehow. Oh, let me into your your industry part of it. Let me on your show. Get, let me go to your fucking parties. I, you spend your life making people feel uncomfortable around you. Yeah. And then you blame us for what are you doing? What are you it's, talking about? Uh, and if you're gonna be gay, you can't be that fat. I gotta be honest with you. You know <laughs> is that your rule? Just you know, Why? come on, dude. You're you're a gay, dude. You're you're talking to Bobby. Yeah, no, he's not obviously. talking to me. It's funny if you shut your eyes and just pretend he is. <laughs> I, that's why I'm mad. I look just like the guy. You really do have a little bit of a guy Branham look to you. Listen, I've, I've, always, I've seen that guy a few times. I've said hi to him, and I've gotten... He's like, know, no, it's guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was a good joke. What was he said, it? I said hi. He said, no, it's guy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah but I mean, the, the flaw in the joke, I think, is I you would never say, I, oh, I saw Soder. I said, I said Dan to him. <laughs> <laughs> I stand That's where I think it doesn't I'm line up. I'm literally laughing at my jokes, though. Yeah, you laugh at all your jokes. Um, that was good. <laughs> but this guy for GQ is just trying to pile on. He's just a pile on. Well, they're all trying to fucking pile on, don't you think? Yeah. What is GQ? Don't you think a lot of people are trying to pile on to this? Where, first of all, if you can't really give your honest opinion about it. No. Because you'll be, it's a nuanced. lot of people, I mean... It's very nuanced. There's a lot of things. Because people are like, oh, fuck these girls, too. A dick shouldn't offend them. At th I mean, uh, I, had to, I had to really think about that and go, you know what? That's not true either. Yeah. I, no, because... not, not fuck the girls, but here's the thing. If a guy says to you, okay, yeah. hey, I would love to masturbate in front of you. Yeah. And that sends you into fucking shocks where you can't work anymore. You have a fucking problem. Can I explain? There's, there's something can I, wrong can I give your you, fucking head. Can I give you a little food for thought Welcome that to I had? Fucking, of course you said. I would okay. love food, but I don't think it's allowed in the studio. I, what happened? <laughs> I think that, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mon. Laser if gun. you, if you, I was just in a Marin about this topic. because Mark? He's, Mark Marin. He's very fr good friends with him, too. And he said something that was interesting to me. Because he said, you know, <clears throat> you, you're giving somebody uh, a memory that they don't want forever welcome to life i know but but Every that, day, but that's I don't not want this memory forever but, but i gotta have it i'm here but that's uh like i i and i was like oh, do i have any of those memories and i i remember when i did my four step in aa with a priest friend of mine father ed we did this amazing four step it was this to do your first fourth step in alcoholics anonymous is a major thing and the person you do it with with it's a it's a major thing too, and What's I did it with step? I did it with him. The fourth step was when you write down all the things you've done wrong that you carry with you. And you blow a priest, and you you uh, you tell somebody else, another human being. Mm -hmm. You literally just it's a purge. It's almost like a confession. Um, and I did it with him, and then at the end of it, and this is a guy that I've known for years, and at the end of it, we stood up and he we hugged, and then he kissed me on the neck. Like soft kiss me, mm. wet kiss me on the neck. And he goes, you want to see me? Off? <laughs> Boner check. Come but, on, Danny. Yeah. He, goes, it, he goes, can I tell you this? Just hugging in this robe gets me going. But it really, it really fucked me up. Yeah. No, it. it now, I of have course. that. I now here's the thing: is why didn't you just leave? You why were a you just, child. Why don't you just say something? Why don't you just? You, why don't you just say? No, I was uh, seventeen. And it's still young. It's still young. But it's like it's 17, 18, maybe eighteen. Hot, Bobby. But though? it's uh, hot. Oh, well, smoking. Do you blame him? 18, 18, no problem with the story. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, if you Hang were on. not a child, I I know, but before I you hear sidetrack, the end of the fucking story. Yeah, you got you got to relax a little bit. Monica, I just, wanna, just, I'm just go right over him. No, nah, I, I understand. He's got a funny line. He wants to get it out. It was a pretty good one. The 18 hot Bobby, I get it. I didn't but get what it. I'm saying is is that <laughs> I have that with me to this day. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when I think about it, it it when it happened, I didn't tell anybody. When it happened, I didn't say stop. I didn't go what the fuck are you doing? It happened I froze. I was like, what the fuck was that? And then I was like, okay, I'll see you later, Father Ed. And I left, and I was fucked up. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I wanted to go tell my sponsor, who's a big iron worker guy from, you know, and uh, I didn't tell anybody because I was fucked up about it. Can like, Father Ed, my friend, who I just did my fourth step, I was at the most vulnerable part of my life, and he wet kissed me on the neck, Wait, and was... I'll have that forever. I, I, every time I think of it, I'm like, I'm like, shit. So you can't. <laughs> uh, 
Dan, go first. How wet of a kiss was it like a... Oh, Do you want me to show you? <laughs> Give me a hand. Um, yeah. No, neck, oh, God, I don't want to see this. On his neck. This is gay. Just kidding. Oh, oh. oh you carry that around with you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what would have been funny? The fact that your hand is salty. Yes. Salty. Well, I go last? Because right. last Dan. is best. Salty Dan. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. Uh, uh, I, I gotta be honest with you. Yes, I understand it's a little bit traumatic, and I understand it's something that you affected you. No, I didn't. I didn't not get over it. I got over it, Lewis. But I have it with me. Yes, yes. Go ahead. But that's a part of life. You're gonna deal with yep. adversity. You're gonna deal with things. And I, I've dealt with crazier shit. I've had my mom like fuck me up and tell me really fucked up things. And I've had people. I've seen really fucked up shit as a little kid that like I've blocked out and I've like pushed down. Like what? And well, uh, well, let me make the point. I would love to hear one. Let me make the point. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I'd love to hear I, I, one. My dad being stabbed to death. Like that you whole experience. It? No, 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 but. Uh, if he saw it, he'd be Batman. I have video of it. <laughs> Check it out. No. <laughs> I have surveillance HG. at, but I, you, at you, Walmart. You don't get to, we as human beings, we don't get to play victim nonstop and get to get to draw from that nonstop in life and get to go, oh my God, well, this is just my experience in life and I'm a, I'm a victim. People that do that no. are not successful. That girl, no, that girl, the girl at the, the show, what happened? Now, we don't know what happened. This is the one thing that sucks about all this. Louie admitted to it accepted it said you know said sorry whether people he didn't write the word sorry mm. fuck off oh that was okay too much he did that but we haven't heard his side you don't know the nuances of these conversations what happened with those girls did was there so you're saying that he he said well go back to my room they walked up to the room no conversation got to the room he got naked they left fuck you Dude, if was, you go back to a man's hotel room i'm sorry i don't give a fuck if this is for young men and women you go back to a dude's hotel room. Yeah. Let me explain to you something. He's trying to fuck you. Really? If Ryan Hamilton takes somebody back, one, I'm pretty on. sure they're going to get ice cream. Come on. I'm pretty sure they're yeah. going to watch Goonies no. and get ice cream Look, from room service. If, if I have a daughter one day. Lenny I'm Marcus gonna... invites you back to your room, you're going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah. There's not every guy. No, no, but I'm telling you, no, you're going to be fine with most guys. 99% of the guys that are out there, you're going to be fine with. That's not the point. They're trying to fuck you. That doesn't mean that you're not fine. Yeah. Try, even Lenny Marcus is trying to fuck you. It may be no, never seen. Hold on. And he may it may take seven years. He may never get the, <laughs> the fucking job done. But what happens is you are the guys who become powerful, famous, rich, successful, guys who have game, guys who are confident. Those guys are told you can't have any of that anymore. And that's crazy. Because if it's about the power and about being successful, then technically I can't hook up with any woman that's less successful than me. They don't exist. This is it. I'm done. He's a success story. There's nobody less successful than him? Yeah. So, so successful. I'm at the but... bottom. He... No, he's saying it to the bottom. Oh. Yeah. I took it like. Because there's nobody beneath him because he's there. Yes. <laughs> he's literally at the bottom so of the ocean. You have to walk up to a homeless woman and go, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Want to watch me jerk off? <laughs> and they go, not again. And they go, sorry. But you know what I'm saying? Like, if, and if, you're, if your thing is to jerk off in front of women, right? Yeah. That's not, I don't think that's crazy. We all have sexual perversions. If this was a woman and it was I a like power, if Let's it was a rich crazy. woman, if it was a rich woman who liked to finger herself in front of pool boys, yeah. people would be applauding her, exploring her sexuality and her being brave and her figuring out what she's into. She got and, a groove back. Yeah. Not a <laughs> maybe <laughs> Louie was trying to get his groove back. Hey, maybe. <laughs> no, too much of a stretch. Uh -huh. We don't, I, look, we haven't heard the details of the thing, but you can't just, you can't five. just dismiss these. You can't just dismiss the people's, I mean, these girls' feelings. You can't just say, fuck no, them. No, you should yeah. know better, or it's just Why jerking off. But, you can you also look but can I, I'll say this. Every woman I've talked to in my life, my mother, uh, people, my mother's friends. Whores? My wife. <laughs> I mean, if, if you want to break <laughs> it down, to, they were like, I, 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 don't, I don't see what I don't happened. I nobody, clouds. Nobody, nobody cares. cares. Our business cares. The entertainment business cares. Well, because but the entertainment nobody... business covers up a lot my, of other darker shit my mother by wanted... exposing this. Yeah. This is easier for the business to be like, see, we're good people. We're taking my, care of my this. My mother's then... so disgusted by this. She wanted to start a petition. She wanted to go get all her friends to sign a petition Louis to get Louis, Louis stuff back. Because she does not understand. Neither do I. It's, she goes, you know how many dicks I've seen in my life Who that I didn't want to see? We're adults. Dude. But times have changed. Yo, you're right. But times have changed, and he shouldn't be asking him to see his dick at work. But it's simply a conversation between him and the producers. It's a conversation between him and that woman. It's an apology or whatever it needs to be. Mm. It is not a, a conversation for millions of people to be a part of. Your sexuality is your sexuality, dude. The weird shit that you're into, nobody has a right to fucking take that out and drag it through the mud. Mm. And if this was a woman, it would be called slut shaming. It would be called fucking... They, they, we don't hold women to this standard. It 
is specifically a bigoted attack. What on do you men. mean we don't hold women to the standard? We Give don't me an example. We Tell don't... me more, bro. G.I. Jane. You see that video? What? What, what video? video? <laughs> you haven't seen that? Pull it up! Yeah! Pull it up! Demi Moore. Pull it up! She's uh, oh, yeah, how great would it be if she's not how she's making out of the fourteen year old? How great would it be right now if Abby just flashed us? <laughs> she misread. Uh, pull it up, Abby. Gabby, sorry. Whatever. Goes, sorry. Now I won't. Now I won't. What's if I used a G, I would have. Now I won't. She goes, "Hey, everybody, look at these!" <laughs> oh, they were made. They were made of, they're made of pink felt. felt. They, got, they, got, they got googly eyes on yeah. the nipples. We gotta start calling her Gabby Kadabi. It's the internet connection. I don't understand. What is this? Wait, what? Pedophile incident. What? She's Whoa. making out with a 14 year old. You're lying. Look how hot she was back then. Yeah. Super hot. God, why is this getting me all boned oh, dude, up? What is this? this? Just I go to Demi Moore as a pedophile. The third one down. Because this hey. one's seven minutes long. Beat Brothers. All right. Go to, the, go to that Stop third one, the 30 second one. Stop right there. there you Stop go. making him panic. He's got to do a certain thing. Joe List Make made out big. with Demi Moore? Turn up the volume. <laughs> he goes, ah, do you like good jokes? Are you mad at me? Are you kidding? How hot is she? Oh, fuck off, dude. She was hot, huh? Did you ever see the picture of her? No sound. Okay, one more time. Whoa. What? Dude. 14. Yes. How do you think you have your best I'm the youngest uh, producer in Hollywood. Can <laughs> uh, that guy play Louis' manager Maybe on Louis? Maybe just because I love them all and I hope they all love me. Whoa. I mean, he is. And I love them. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but like, Absolutely. if we're being He's totally being honest, terrific. if this is reversed, can you imagine this? Oh my god! Oh my! So god. stop! God. Stop! Can you imagine? So wait, did you hear what she Tom said? Oh, you know what? Are you kidding me? I literally want to pretend I'm that kid. But look at her! Look but look at her eyes! Look at her eyes! Look at her eyes! Motherfucking more. But seriously, honestly, if this was reverse gender, uh, what do you think the reaction would be? Uh, if that oh, was, she was a tranny, if, I'd come. If that was <laughs> Dustin Hoffman and a 14-year-old girl, I'd come all over this uh, video, would be Roman Polanski. I mean, what would happen? Well, he raped the girl, but that's you, a, that's, that's a pretty weird. insane. Gabby, right? Gabby, what as a, as the only woman in this room right hey. now, that's what you think. <laughs> you uh, what you, said you what, what do you think about that? What do I think about what? That. That that's yeah. gross. That's gross. I mean, but that's a little. You know, she looks like she's on something. Mm. Yeah. She's, oh, okay. She's okay. Playing, yeah. No big deal then. She's playing it up for the camera. You know what I mean? I just don't understand why they're only going after male comedians right now. It's all like all only male comedians. Well, Harvey Weinstein is one of the funniest comedians out there. Guys, killer. <laughs> Guys, got a killer fifteen. Because that's the flavor. Of the, that's the flavor of the month right now. Is to go after male but comedians. But they're not going to have to. Uh, what do you mean? It's not a flavor of the like month. Like Hoffman, these Harvey Weinstein. It's like been going on for comedians. months. No, but I'm saying like now they'll shift from. It was like shifting from producer. I think to that the, the door. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, the yeah. door was open with real pieces of shit like Harvey Weinstein. Mm, the door was open, and now what? What people do is they take their agenda and latch it onto something, yep. and go as far as they can with it. And this guy, guy, yeah. tried to latch on so he could take this table down, get people against the comedy seller, a club that he's not in, Dude, a I, club that he's probably doesn't like because what it represents to him, which is stupid. Guy, come down to the club, hang the fuck out. You know, no one watch, no one and, watch a and set. Pizza pop. Yeah. No one watch the set and actually laughed. Yeah. He's like, he never auditioned. But he's actually funny. Guy's a pro. No, yeah, guy, but guy's like, a I know guy. Comic. He's a funny comic. And if he came down and sat at the table, the, everybody would. I also, he would, he it, would be fine. It just showed he didn't know what he was talking about with the seller when he's like, "By the way, this table where you'll get laughed out of the place if you say Kesha is better than Bruce Springsteen." You're like, "That's a great seller conversation." I think Kelly like, Clarkson is way better than Bruce Springsteen. So bring it. Like, let's have that conversation. Let's laugh Kesha, about. It. Are you supposed to carry Kelly Clarkson? I would listen to before Bruce. Since you've been gone. Yeah, well, no, see, you know, I like I think you've been on, I don't I don't everything that what's her name does. So moving on. I'm starting, the big, the big, starting a new trend. The yeah, big titted totally. one. Who? Uh, the, the black hair. Adele. No, the black hair. Big Fat Monica? Kelly. Kelly. Uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Demi Lovato. No, 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 like no, no. Big Terry, Katy Perry. Fireworks. Yeah. Katy Perry. Yeah. She's every talking. song. She's not talented at all. She's just a big bag of tits. <laughs> but every song <laughs> makes me want to dance. Dude, I'll tell you right now. It's great. Kelly Clarkson. Her songs are fucking amazing, yeah. and I I could cry at some of the songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Bruce doesn't. Bruce Bruce doesn't Bruce what are we gonna do? Anymore. What are we? Right, here's the deal, right? We got, I don't want to look at her face anymore. We're gonna have we're gonna get Gabby to make out with a fucking twelve year old and see bring him in. Hi, do you want to kiss me? 
Hello, kids. I don't Kelly know you Clarkson. A girl or oh, God, do I love her. Look. Oh, I love her. She's Bobby so... just like her because she's attainable. No, she's not. <laughs> Atta- she's, not a, she's not attainable. If I saw me. Kelly Clarkson, I would try to fuck her. What does that mean? That's you think you'd have a shot? Yes, 100%. She would how, not... do you, how do you meet her if you have a shot? I'm probably eating somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you go, you go miss. <laughs> food court, I'm like, miss, put she that goes, down. Here's an so, extra that's... plate of cheese fries. Can you not fat shame, please? What? Yeah, I'm going to fat shame, too. Bobby's true. I'm going to fat shame. I'm going to cat call. I'm going to fucking be on Louis' Keep side. One more. <clears throat> one more thing that I got to yeah, say? Yeah, one more thing. Uh, I got to... I'm going to be a good dad to baby James. Okay. Because That's all pretty, pretty cool thing. That's it, yeah. So, no, but uh, Bob... Yeah. I've, I've dealt with my own experiences. This is me, me and Dan were talking about this before I got here. I understand that, but my point wasn't that you don't get over it. My point was that you have it forever. And if you had the chance not to have it, yeah, if yeah. you had that opportunity we not don't... if you had the opportunity not to have it, if someone didn't have to should give it to they you, have the opportunity. Now when now, no, now, nobody the, should be able the, to the, click a button and say, Oh, on. my bad memories in the world are gone. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Here I'm come the men that's in not black. what I'm saying. What I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> What I'm saying is is that <laughs> <laughs> the girl at the girl in the sitcom oh, man. immediately went and said, Hey, this happened. Gabby it would fucking, be sore if it we made, had that clicker. Oi. Dude, shut the fuck up. What, dude? W- immediately said <laughs> What clicker? Immediately shut up, Gabby. <laughs> Immediately he said, Now we know how I you get the name oh, Gabby. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the men in black. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Galaxy Defenders. <laughs> All right, no, I just wanted to get yelled at too. I am not gonna yell at you. I never got ever. my hand raised, answered, by the way. You what? The fourth step thing. I'm the only one that's done a four step. Just, let me just I say get my this. hand picked. I'm saying that she immediately went to the people and said, "I'm I'm done with it." Yes, this. like that bothered me, and they they had to deal with it. So that you know, I mean, that sucks. But here's the thing. And uh... Lou, but here's the thing. Louis said, "I'm sorry." Said, "Look, I fucked up. I did some fucked up shit. I own it all." And I guarantee that his manager, his agent, I I I don't I don't know, but I would say that he would say, "Look, guys." Go do your thing right now. You don't want to be around me. It's not enough. Yes. Take down the picture. I don't think I don't think them I think he had something to do with that. Of course. Like, I think you're right. Take yeah, of down course. I completely the agree. I, he's not gonna show up at comedy clubs right now because he's gonna put comedy clubs in a position. Yeah. Do not I, the seller. Noam's yeah. already said, you come down right the fuck now, I'll put you up. <laughs> Noam, Noam is backing Louis. As he should. As he should. Loves Louis. Of course. As he should. Loves Louis. Good. Good. And we do too. Yeah. Joe, your turn. Well, the, the when you did the four step kiss in the neck thing, it would have been fun if after he kissed you in the neck, you pulled a pen out from your jacket and went, I got to add a resentment. <laughs> it would have been fun. If I had done it, you yeah. know, 75 minutes I was, ago. If I wasn't in fucking <laughs> shock and horror because yeah. I just um, got kissed by a fucking uh, 60 year old priest. Do you think he said you were salty too? Yeah, you were salty. <laughs> how, do you, how was that? If you got kissed in the neck. That's, that was creepy. Even just thinking about it on my hand. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've just like. Do you want to feel it? Uh, yeah, okay, give it some. Come here. No, yeah, come, come here. on with give this. What are we turning into here? We're coming oh, he to, wants it on the neck. We're coming to a very woke podcast. How is no one getting a photo of this? <laughs> we have audio. It's a compliment. That's... <laughs> yeah. He liked you. Bobby, he liked you. <laughs> Lewis lives a very sensual life. How was that kiss, though? It was nice. <laughs> it was a nice lip. Yeah, you do, Let me, can I give you a scenario? Can I, yeah. can I give you a scenario? I'll just give can you any scenario because Bobby can kiss like a motherfucker. <laughs> Can I give you a scenario? Will you stop putting your hands up your ape? Yes. God. You stop got... being so, You're such a Joey. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I don't like them, the fat Katie. Fat what Monica, am I? Fat Monica. 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 You're fat mom. Fat, fat mom. I yeah. don't even know. Fa- I never watched the show. <laughs> fat Sorry, we, don't, we, we don't have a Rachel. God, yeah. It really is just Phoebe, Fat Monica, and then the three boys. Yeah. So, um, so here's the deal, okay? I, if you say here's the deal, you get five more here's the deal <laughs> before we get to all throw something at you. Here's the deal. Oh, here's, <laughs> the deal. Uh, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. All right, all right, all right. come on. Say the deal. Say the deal. So, uh, I have. Why was that so fun? You, it is how you deal with your yeah. personal shit. Now, I was telling Dan a story, okay? I dealt with some shit a few years ago when I did Montreal. But what I want to do is let me, let me tell the scenario. All right. Guys, guys, hang on one second. What are you doing? He's blow fishing. Yeah, don't He's drop. Laughing. Don't <laughs> drop the microphone. Let me tell the story yeah. from the perspective of a fucking. <laughs> We're gonna do a time to kill. I want you to close your eyes <sighs> and imagine this is a woman, a female comedian. Okay, a everybody close your eyes. A young close female eyes. comedian in Montreal. Mon- it's summer in Quebec. <laughs> it's Montreal. I'm talking about it's nice and humid. 
Uh, you can smell the poutine yep. coming out the <laughs> sex shop. Mm, I'm hard. <laughs> There's a young Puerto Rican comedian. I see him. No, her. It's her. I see her. Now. I see her. All right. Ooh. She's fucking hot. Oh, she got tattoos. Well, she's more body than face. <laughs> well, she, no, she, I look, her face is decent. <laughs> she's, she's mostly she, body. She's aging, but you know, I whatever. See, I, mean. I see her face. She's middle aged. <laughs> yeah. No, she's, she's young, 37. She's a young comedian. She's 28. <laughs> she's, yeah, she's definitely up there in the unwrap. <laughs> <laughs> She's walking out of a. She's not walking right, out of St. Catherine's. Let's just say she's not regular new face. She's coming out of a pizza store in St. Catherine's. There's street. obviously an asterisk as to why she's there. Okay. Yeah. She's wearing she's wearing her her badge around her neck because she's never been here before and doesn't realize that she's she doesn't real need loud that. at the at the fucking company parties. So she's she's all wide eyed. She's ready to wide-eyed. go. Wide eyed. So she goes and does some showcases, and she meets a, an agent from one of the most powerful agencies. One of the big. Three one letters. The, one of the big ones. C-A-N-A. Ooh. <laughs> C-N-A-N-A. That's not a letter. C-N-A-N-A. Yeah, hey. Uh, so it's C- one. So, P-C-N. So she meets this agent. Okay. A-B-C. Asian? Agent. Ah. It was an, oh, no! It was an it's agent. It's good to see you! Yeah, Dan, you're triggering. Kidoba. Kidoba. Oh, hell yeah. It was an Asian agent. Yeah. You are uh, kind of a funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, we, Macho we Man Randy Savage's some, Asian uh, cousin. There, there was some brown skin. My <laughs> name is Randy Wong. There's, oh, then, yeah. There's Randy nobody, Savage. Nobody oh, funny. Rah. There's nobody funny on radio. Oh, There's yeah. nobody funny. Dude, can I just be the fourth mic on anything you do? <laughs> I'm a quick comedy. I just want to be Don't there worry, for you. bro. When they isolate the audio and destroy my career, <laughs> it'll all be... <laughs> <laughs> all right, back, so you're back in that Randy Wong's so, going to hate that So bit. this this young female comic, yeah. she meets this... You mean Ronnie Chang? I'm sorry. Is that his name? <laughs> Sorry. Bobby Kelly just called Ronnie Chang Randy Wong. <laughs> <laughs> Which, can I talk about the other night? No. Can I not say that? No. It's funny. No. It's really funny. <laughs> It's going to sound worse if no, I don't tell it now. You get Now, you if can't. I don't tell no, it, you don't. it sounds worse. It's not going to sound Come anything. Come out before the article's written, Bobby. It's no. like when when the Rolling no. Stones. I uh, tweeted that, texted that to you. You can't ever talk about text messages. Well, I'm asking Those are off limit. Now no, it I'm sounds saying, like people so are going to think you wrote what's up with the fucking gook politics. It's politic. terrible. Now it's even worse. It's like when the Rolling Stones, <laughs> they sang. Joe, let. Trying to make I, some girl. I never thought I'd say this in my life. Let Lewis finish. Lewis, go. Ah, so on here. Uh, <laughs> really funny. Okay. Okay. So, it's uh, gonna sound bad now. You look, ba- you look worse, but not let me say. It. I look worse, anyways. Guys, back to that Quebec night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't an Asian. It was an agent. Agent. Agent from was, NBC. Yeah, it was an NBC agent. NBC agent. <laughs> right. Cut to the chase. Can we please? Can I be the Puerto Rican girl? Hey. Hello, guys. Okay, thank you for coming. <laughs> I love being here, Montreal. I, Montreal! I'm going to be perfectly honest. What's I more don't... important on your baby? <laughs> your hot body or a hot face? <laughs> I don't know that Bobby knows this is you. Are we so all what's following up along? With, what's up with stupid assholes? <laughs> your pasta la love <laughs> Oh, I hate being a mommy. Oh, being a mommy's hard. You like see your kid and you like, is my baby gonna be a pussy? Yo, you guys ever wear a hat? When I wear a hat, it looks different. <laughs> oh, yo, my sister got me a visor for my birthday. That's not getting like <laughs> if I was pregnant. <laughs> getting, yo, yeah. yo, I'm not gonna die in front of my baby. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. She sounds like she's great. <laughs> yeah, nah, she's God. killing. You can By tell. By the she... way, she mm-hmm. would be a superstar. Uh, I mean, Go a ahead. real ass chick. <laughs> <laughs> no. So this, this sounds pat- like her material blows. This. Pat- <laughs> 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 I mean, ah. I maybe I don't get it. Ah. So, do you understand she, if us us four did this show every week? We'd be multi-millionaires. Maybe yeah. Mm-hmm. You fucked up, dude. You yeah. wanted to fuck I did not. All you had the whole you guys all left me. No. no. You got a show on Sirius. You, you could have locked us down. You could have locked us down. I'll lock you down now. I'll give you fucking 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Dollars? No, percent. <laughs> percent? No, percent. We'll just call it the regulars? Every day. We're not going to call it Day. No, we'll call it the regulars. The regulars. The regulars. Yeah, we'll call it the reg- regulars. Why don't we turn that into a radio show? Why don't you dump Mike Calta and uh, do a show with us? What are you talking about? Aren't you doing a radio show with Mike Calta? Or was that a one-time thing? Maybe. <gasps> my, I love Mike my, Calta. My arch enemy, Mike Calta? He's not your arch enemy. Arch enemy. <laughs> enemy. My, uh, my arch enemy. enemy. His name is Fuck Cowface. You. you got a radio show. Suck my dick. Guys, let's get back to the, the issue. Yeah, go back. We're in Quebec. We're in Quebec. We're in Quebec. This, young, Quebec. this young Quebec. A Quebecois. 
There's so, a young, hot Puerto Rican. The agent, uh, the agent comes up to this young Puerto Rican girl, and yeah. and she and the agent's like, "Look, I fucking think you're great. I I want to I I want to fucking work with you. I'm gonna sign you." And the young Puerto Rican girl's like, "That's incredible." Agent says, "Don't even meet with another agency. I'll be furious if you meet with another agency." Then the whole week in Montreal. Is this agent hot? No, agent's uh, unattractive. You know, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. not not very attractive. A little heavy set, mm-hmm. heavy set man, uh, heavy set dude. Heading on this hot Puerto Rican woman. Hot young Puerto Rican girl. Jesus. So now at this point, the whole week on the Puerto Rican girl's hip. Won't leave her alone. They're getting drunk together. They're mm. partying. Mm. Little weird things like the agent touches the Puerto Rican girl's ass. Mm. Grabs a Puerto Rican girl's dick. Nice. Really? Whoa, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's whoa, whoa. A, all right, spoiler. Uh, hold on. No, you go back. <laughs> Wait, did, it, did, did he grab the pussy, though? For real? Yeah. But yeah, the agent grabs the pussy. Wow. He yeah. grabbed the ass pussy? Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to get a cease and assist. Oh, God. We're going to get a cease and assist from Giannis. <laughs> He's going to shut down this whole thing. So, uh... <laughs> Yo, no, guys, no. you can't do that no more. He goes, uh, grab- which character is going to serve it? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pano says you cannot do this character. <laughs> so, uh, Agent grabs the girl's pussy. You know, and, and the girl's just kind of How like, big was the pussy? Yeah, you know, Six inches? Five and a half. Can I say this? <laughs> Can I say this? Did the pussy get heavy after the agent touched it? No, because... Okay. because uh, is the pussy cut or uncut? Yeah, that's a good... Oh, that's a good question. But the, the comedian, she's just kind of like, you know what? It's a huge agency. Fuck it. Like, I don't even give a shit. Yeah, like, I'm just you, trying to. Because she's a whore bag. She's like, <laughs> she's like she's, this. Yeah, that's it. Grab that she's pussy. a fame fucker. I'll take anything. I want it all. You give said, it to me. Gas Digital. Merch bump. Fuck everybody. She deserved what she got. Yeah. <laughs> good. So uh, they uh, they go back to New York <laughs> after the wait festival. A minute, wait a minute. They didn't go back to a room? They no, never went they, back to a room. Back to a room but they come, they come back to New York. They come back to New York. Mm, together? No. <clears throat> yeah, come, come back to New York. Okay. They meet up, meet up the offices at mm-hmm. NBC offices, fucking meet the other agents. <laughs> then the next night, <laughs> the agent invites a young Puerto Rican girl over her apartment. Now, the agent's married. The oh, agent's married. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Agent's wife gets drunk, goes to bed. Hang on one second. Oh, yeah. Before you finish the story, I got to do a read. Oh, Are you kidding? Fuck. This is perfect. Why would you do the so read right they're, now? they're gonna have to fucking listen to the read. Phone time. <laughs> they're gonna Phone have time. That's kind of smart. Oh, I like it. I like Deepdiscount.com, what people. What a great idea that is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it right there in your queue. I love this company. Bobby, you're so smart. Deep did they got actually me on the front uh mm-hmm. up there. Uh, deepdiscount.com is my favorite oh, they have website. You in the grave? That makes sense. Not that's not a you fucking piece of garbage. garbage. Um, it's one of my favorite sponsors, and I actually go here and buy stuff all the time. Uh, last week I just bought the, uh, excuse me, uh, oh my god, I bought um, what the hell was this movie called? Dudes. I just bought it. Dudes. Uh, yeah, it's called Dudes, so I bought it. Oh, oh. that's an old eighties movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, By the way, Mike. Anyways, deepdiscount.com, a loyal sponsor to my show. It's a great website, loaded with CDs, vinyls, Blu-rays, video games, and more. The savings are ridiculous. And right now, Lou, guess what? What? The savings are even more ridiculous. <laughs> it's nuts because the entire site is on sale. Tens of thousands of items are on sale right now, even lower prices. No need to leave your house for Black Friday sales. The gifts you need are right there at your fingertips. Just see for yourself. Go to deepdiscount.com or just click on the logo on my homepage, riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. Get a jump on the holiday shopping now. Find those favorite movies, TV shows for yourself or everyone on your list. Stop wasting time searching, hoping to find an unedited version with no commercials. Buy your favorites and ha right now. And listen, these are hard to find copies. They got them. Look at that movie right there. Demon Wind. Oh, Demon Wind. Demon Wind with Eric Larson. You can't find that anywhere, but you can find that on deepdiscount.com. I'd buy that movie just to check it out. That movie? Movie. It's a movie. Cover. That's right. Buy your favorite movies right now. Hard to find covers. There are tens of thousands of titles on sale right now. Deepdiscount.com. You can get a, a new movies too. This week, The Hitman Bodyguard, starring Samuel L. Jackson and Ryan Reynolds, which is a great movie. I saw it. Look at all you pieces of shit on your phones. Listen, Dan. We're watching the movie. I'm watching DW. Are you, at, are, you, are you at Deep Discount right now? Yep. Yeah. Did you just sign up for it? I did. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? Checking a movie? <laughs> I'm, I'm signing up for Deep Discount, Robert. That's right. Ryan right. Reynolds, and uh, it's, a, it's an even bigger action adventure with bigger laughs, so I'm told. I actually know, okay? Because uh, mm. I bought my copy from here. Get your copy now on Blu-ray 
or DVD. I just got regular DVD for a great price. Just click deepdiscount.com logo found on my homepage at riotcast.com slash Robert Kelly. Support my sponsors. Be good to yourself. Buy your favorites. Watch them when you want. Check it out now. Thank you, Deep Discount. Back to Lewis. Hey, guys. We're and back. The, the, the rape ass- story of this little Puerto Rican girl. Real ass podcast. Uh, <laughs> I'm your host, Lewis J. Gomez. We're back. Puerto Rican. Can you upgrade it to at least Legion of Skanks? What? So it's a... No, Legion of, Legion of Skanks is old news, man. They plateaued. The Real Ass <laughs> Podcast is the new flavor, baby. Is, is it, it really? That's what everyone ah. loves. Well, if you like more of something in the serious satellite radio realm, bonfire. check out The Bonfire. What a good show that is. Thank or if you, you like much. comedy, check out Tuesdays with Stories. Good. All right. Nice. We're all doing it. No Gabby, problem. what about you? Papa Talk. Uh, we have Muppet and the Blowfish coming out. Yeah. yeah dude. Really? That sounds like a good band. Mike, that nice. was a pretty good one. That was a great one. Right? I'll tell you this, no, one, like a real no, one scores, no one scores points from the Scopo chair. Nobody's, that's a fucking dead seat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, look, dude, anything would be funnier than Scopo. Yeah. Not anything. Anything. Depot. Look, ready? Scopo's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him recently. He's got some jokes. All right, he's gotten funnier. He's I've good. taken him on the road with me. He's really no. good. Yeah. No, he's buddy, good. I took him on no. me two times. I called him up before the shows. I went, buddy, please tell me, have you gotten funnier <laughs> than a year ago? And he was like, I have. <laughs> Brought him. Killed it. Two shows. Yeah. Good. He's yeah. not nice. soda good, but he's not Lewis bad. You know, he's right in that sweet spot. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Suarez, but I felt like it was hurtful. He's very new to the city. I felt right, like you could get, handle it better. Let, let's get back to the story. I have to explain my zings now no, no, so no, Lewis no, doesn't no, get no, mad. No, no, no. It's fine. He's Don't not worry. mad. He's hurt. Joel Are you hurt? Joel is a fucking real cocksucker. <laughs> what? Yeah. I've never sucked a cock. So, uh, back, back to, to New York. York. Back to, back to the future. Back to, They're Dan, in his apartment. Dan, please bring us back to the story. They come back to, to catch New York. you up. A hot Puerto Rican. Last time. Game. Last on time. On Lewis story. got raped. <laughs> yeah. On Lewis is a time to kill. <laughs> a hot Puerto Rican female, female <laughs> Puerto Rican comedian was in Montreal what? when a male agent <laughs> at a very powerful industry or agency hit on the Puerto Rican comedian. Then back in New York, they were up to no good. <laughs> so they go to the offices, meet. Next day, agent invites young Puerto Rican girl comedian back to her apartment. Beautiful apartment, or his apartment. Beautiful apartment. Agent's, pop. listen, agent's Almost wife a... Agent's wife is sleeping, okay? Mm-hmm. Got a little drunk. Agent's wife is sleeping in the bed. Nice. This story's getting awesome. So let me tell you. Uh, the agent starts aggressively hitting on the young female comedian. Mm-hmm. All right, touching? Get, yeah, touching. Grabbing her grabby, tits? Grabby, trying to make out with her. Yeah. Really trying to make wow. out. Yeah. With the husband sleeping? I mean, yeah, wife yeah. sleeping? Female female comedian's like, whoa, you're, you're, what are you doing? Your wife's here. And she's like, and the female, the, the, the male agent, <laughs> male agent's like, no, we have like an open thing. Don't even worry about it. It's not a big deal. Female comedian's like, no, I'm cool with that. Leaves. Powerful agency doesn't end up signing female Puerto Rican comedian. Now, what if I told you that that woman was Louis J. Cohen? <laughs> what? Oh my God! Sexism, bro. That's oh my God! Insane. That's a real story. That's a real story. That's a real. Wow. Story. Is that you? Yeah, and so, how did the how did the relationship the fact- end? What happened next? I love that Gabby actually didn't know. I it was did Lewis not know that the that. whole time. Are you kidding? Yeah. You are the dumbest person I've ever met. Thank you. She's not <laughs> a dumbest. She's just not. She's a muppet. Yeah. <laughs> she's it's a hard. Sh- it's hard to think when you got nothing but foam in between your ears. I don't think in those terms. Well, you know what I think about the letter Q. <laughs> <laughs> she also touched me, and it really made me hard. Who? Oh, all right. What? So, all right. Did it, how did it, did it, it end? Up, like, so, what happened what? after that? Don't, please don't hold this against me. Listen. What? Please. All right? was I've already lost attention. a girl I like in that chair. Please, just stay. It's not me. I'm here. It's don't him. worry. Lauren, I couldn't even make, I couldn't even handle Lauren anymore because she fucking went and started dating Dave. So that was she was pointless. Lauren was pointless way before she so, became pointless. What happened to Lauren? What? What? She had. She went. She didn't want to do the business. She wanted to just live her life. She oh, got a nice, nice job and she got a nice boyfriend and she's like, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh. And she goes, I gotta go. And she go. left. That's it. All right. I thought yeah. she was very funny. She was great. She no. was great. So what happened? Oh, it was good. <laughs> All right. right listen. Uh, enough about Lauren. Let's just go to. I want to. No, I, I want to ask a question, Louis. You you could take this person out. This is not the first guy. This guy's done that to. Really? You Damn think geez. he's his fucking first time? One hundred percent. Wow. But, but would that, why would why wouldn't I? Because I, I want to ask I, why I'll, I'll would you why yes, wouldn't yes, I? That's the, the because question. the experience. The only thing that I'm annoyed about was that this agent wasted my time. It wasn't. It wasn't the coming on to me. Did I, he grab your dick? Yeah. Did he? Did you kiss him? It was like a full full hand. It, it was a she. It was a she. 
It was a real she. It was oh, a I woman. thought it was a guy. A Wait a God minute. Damn, I was. It was a woman. a woman. Wait a minute. So the husband was a was it a husband or a husband, wife? Husband. Husband. So the husband's in the other room. Yeah. And he goes to sleep while you're on the couch with his wife. Yeah. Yeah. And Lewis is looking good. I mean, summer like drinking, this drinking, doing drugs, like partying. You guys are partying. You're on the couch. How how big is this apartment? Really nice. Really nice. Upper yeah. West, Upper East. I'm not saying anything else. In Manhattan, that's nicer matters. than that any of your places by far. I uh, loved your uh, you place. Don't have better to, than his place in Hell's wait, Kitchen. Wait, wait. Way better. All right, you don't have to put... This is your problem, Louis. You're always going to put people down to make a point. Bobby's place is not nice. It <laughs> 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 makes me so happy. I got this fucking little dog train. <laughs> Lou. This story is unbelievable. Louis, 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 Louis. Wait, 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 wait. This is amazing. Is so, he Louis now? Because I never called him Louis, I'm Louis before. I'm the new Until Louis, Louis yeah. comes back, You're he's Louis. the new Louis. The king wow. is dead. Long live the king. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. The Louis is dead. Long live the Louis. Are you doing a new hour every year? Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> if you want to call it that, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Louis. Yeah. You go up there. Louis, 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 Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, 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 Lewis. But it's an intro of Lewis walking from the subway. Oh, where, he's like, where he's like, Pfft. and it's just angry bodega workers and cab drivers like, mm-hmm. fuck you! And he's like, Lewis, 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 Lewis. <laughs> then he walks by the cellar. Yeah, and he, goes, to, uh, he goes into a bar basement. And to the gas digital studios. They hand him a bucket to pick a spot out. <laughs> he walks up to the cellar, <laughs> Esty shaking her head, and he's like, oh, all right. I go to the dollar pizza store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They kick you out. And then you have to I, have, I have 75 cents. Oh my God, please. <laughs> Can I please if you don't film that, you're a fucking, <laughs> you're an idiot. Dude, I'll film it. Dude, let's I'll film that. Dude, let's film, film the it. new Louie uh, with you <laughs> walking past the cellar. We'll sell it on your website for five bucks. Yeah! Dude, I mean, this, Bobby, I will book a crew to film that. Yes, we need to film that. In the next week. We need to That's film that. Louis, so Louis, Louis, Louis. <laughs> I want to be the guy that gives the finger. Yeah. Walked by yeah, walked by right he walked by every club. You guys go by Caroline's? No. no dude. You go by Gotham the, the and they door. shut the door. Yeah. <laughs> Caroline's, the doors are too heavy. He goes by the Gotham. They literally fucking just shut everything down. The lights go off at Comedy Cellar. Everyone's in there. Just every, everybody is in the front line outside freezes like they don't see him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, listen. So you so you're upstairs in this beautiful apartment, doorman building, I would imagine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And you're hanging out watching TV. The husband's like, "Hey, I'm tired. I'm going to bed." Mm-hmm. Did he wink? And, 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 he go, "I'm gonna go to bed." This huh? story is yeah, insane. Did he know? I don't know who it is. He had he to have knew. known. He, you know, you, I would yeah. never leave my wife on a couch with Louis. I do this. I go, uh, "I'm gonna go to bed." She's like, "Okay." He had a, he knew right. Can we reveal this after the show? I'll tell you after the show. He knew right. I'll one hundred percent tell you after the show. You know it's funny. I can't wait. <laughs> you'll. I mean, I'm telling you right now, Joe. You'll fucking you'll know. Louis, you'll know too. Louis, did did did, did the, hus- the husband, a, husband knew? Right? Agent, you so knew I'm the good. husband knew right. I think the husband kind of yeah, was there, okay with it. There's another detail that I don't want to give about oh, that, that. Why? Because why? I because I don't want I, to be honest with you. Once again, I don't. He's not that kind of person. He's not going to reveal this I'm person. I'm just not trying to fucking ruin people for trying to fuck. We're adults. <laughs> I don't care that this person was powerful and right. had a, it was in a position above me that could help me out. I ma- I assessed it and I didn't fuck her and I said, all right, it's not worth it for me. That's not what I want to do. And I walked away from it. And no, I didn't That's get so signed funny. to that agency. But the truth is, I have an agent now that fucking loves me and that I Did have, you suck uh, his dick? I sucked his cock the first time I met him. I didn't make that mistake. Lewis goes, I know how this works. Yeah. Is your wife going to go to bed? And then he was like, and then I fuck you. After and Lewis, goes, after no. Lewis, Lewis blew him and swallowed his own. He's like, dude, I don't, why did you do that? <laughs> I, I, honestly, it's, that started with me just asking like, what your uh, ideas for some shows yeah. are. Like, I'm not an agent. I'm a secretary. Wait, can I, was, I ask a question though? So, in seriousness, what? So, what happened after the night in the apartment? How did the relationship deteriorate? Or like, did you say, "Hey, are you repping me?" Or what? She didn't sign me. Yeah, it was like a weird. But thing. like, was it a thing where she said, "I can't"? Dan's going to jerk you, off. A <laughs> Dan's going to crank one out because he's a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> don't, but don't you think that was like she took advantage of you in a way? Not like you did it, but like she was like, listen, if you get a little sexy with me, she, I'll I sign don't, you. Yeah, that's like that, power. That's a I power. don't know that she would have signed me if I fucked her. In my head, I didn't. It, can I be honest with you? No. Real. If I fucked her, that would have muddied things up if she signed me. That you, was kind of like really what was going on. If you on fucked in my her, head. if yeah. you fucked her, I guarantee she probably would have signed you. Maybe the reason why she, yeah, she probably would have. She probably felt un. Now you, it's uncomfortable. You, you yeah. made her uncomfortable because she thought you were into it. She was reading the signs wrong. And if you fucked her, it would have been great. 
and then you didn't. Now she has to worry about you telling people that you did that on a podcast. If you <laughs> fucked her, then at least you would be on the same playing field. Yeah. I, like, I hey, you you were into it too. Maybe. Yeah. And and you're right. But here's the truth. I just don't look. Why don't at that you try to call her and try to fuck her? <laughs> well, here's the deal. I don't think that that's the worst thing that a human being can do. I think that it, I know, but that's too. But that's personal. Some people do. No right. I don't, but here's the thing. You can't. You can't no, sexually. Right. You can't put your I, sexuality on but I can, everybody because they're putting their sexuality on us. They're, oh, they're, no, they're, 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 I understand they're, that. Like, they're they're trying to hold us to their standard, right? <laughs> so my standard is that you know I deal with things a certain way, and it, it isn't something that affected me where it made me have to go into therapy or, or it affected my career in a way where I feel like I I don't believe that I'd be in a better place in my career if I would have fucked that chick and signed with that agency. That reminds me of this thing. Uh, it's a brand new podcast on Riotcast called Four Corners. Mm-hmm. With Lenny Marcus. <laughs> uh, you got to go check it out. Go to ratcast.com. And this story is great for advertising. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, Lenny Marcus and his uh, partner, Neil, came up with a brand new. It's with a- Degrass get a, Tyson? Huh? No. Brennan? Uh, yes. No. Um, Young? No. How great would it have been if he grabbed Neil Armstrong? Brennan? No. Oh, that would have been great. Vince? Click on it. Please bring it to me. There we go, right there. Oh, Eric McMahon. Oh. I know Eric McMahon. No, it's not Eric McMahon. That's Neil, his be- his partner. That was a guest, Eric McMahon. Yeah. Um. Well, they what do they do is they'll ha- you guys should have you done it yet, Lewis? No. Dan? No. Did, have you done Joe? Uh no. Oh, we got to get you on the show. They bring you, you on Patrick the show. Harris? The first team, fifteen minutes is about you, and then they have three more uh, uh quarters, fifteen minutes of pop, and you talk about stuff, uh, whatever they bring up. It's a very interesting show. It's an hour. On the dot every episode, and they have five episodes right now to check it out. Four corners right now. Uh, go check it out on Riotcast.com. I can't believe this story exists, but I, I've i never heard of anybody actually. Guys always say that well, women do it to guys, and you never really hear of a story this real, what this in-depth. What happens when And this is actual, person? this is fucking sexual harassment. Yeah, 100%. What happens when 100%. you see this person? Say hi. I say hi. I was more upset. You don't cower. Why did you say no? I was more upset that no, trust she me. literally said, don't don't meet other agents. That was the thing that made me kind of like, well, that's fucked up. You shouldn't have yeah, wasted my yeah. time. Because don't... she didn't want your dick all sloppy from other pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sweet agent pussy. Your, your dick tastes like CAA, and I don't yeah. like it. But I got to be honest with you. you it, it's like, let's just, let's just be. <laughs> that's APA. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Uh, What's that? Right? Mm, that's William Morris. <laughs> we're, we're, I think everybody, and you said it about your mom, but it's like everybody kind of is in reality when you speak to everybody, you just have a conversation. If you go to your coworker right now and say, hey, do you think Louis should have, you know, is, is a, a, a dirtbag and should lose his jobs because he asked women to show his dick to them? They go, no, nah, it's crazy. But I, not yeah. everybody. Most people. Most, There's most a lot people. of people on the other side. There's though. a lot, no, of... but it's those are the people that have a big, loud, loud voice on the internet. Right. Those are the others. Are it's a select few people. I'm down to are... Twitter, by the way. I'm done. I'm fully it's fucking great, done. I'm off Facebook. I'm done. I, I don't mind I'm Facebook. Off both. I, I like Facebook because <laughs> uh, I've kind of catered it to what I like, and I've blocked a lot of fuck you people. Um, and I do Facebook. I like Instagram's fine. Twitter, I'm done with. I'm fucking done. It's, it's great. Like, it's uh, the sickest place on the fucking internet. Best thing I ever do was take it off my phone. That's it a- does nothing for fucking sale. Promotion, it does. Pro- promotion, it does nothing for me. I get everything I feel from like Facebook. Instagram's more. Instagram and Facebook, I get people from. Really? Twitter does garbage for me. Garbage. Yeah. It does nothing. I, I, I 280 t- characters now, though? Woo. Dog I didn't even know about that. I don't give a fuck. 280 characters now for everybody. I like 100. I was so excited when Dan told me that you were off Twitter. It's great. I'm not off it. I'm just, I don't have it on my phone. I deleted so what did you do? You go home profile. and check it on your computer? Yeah. I was in, my nose was in my phone all then day Then I just long. end up reading at it. I go to people that I like, and I, I read my, my mentions, and then I go to people that I like and check I, in on the, Like, I like I your want, tweets. I uh, usually like, I like. There's a couple of people that I usually check in with. Like, I'm, not a, I'm, not a, Michelle Wolf. I'm not I'm not a tweeter. I'm not. I just, yeah. I tried to be this thing. I'm like, oh, it's not my thing. I don't do it. Yeah. Some I'm, people are really good at it. I'm uh, not good at I'm it. I'm not. I, I, I don't why, like why can't we? Lewis engages it well. Like Lewis I think does... Lewis is, has funny tweets. Yeah, Lewis just. But yeah. Lewis is like not afraid to tweet, and he'll just tweet whatever, yeah. and it, that's good for him. I, I don't. Yeah, I, what I don't if there was that. a Twitter though? What if there was a social media that we could use as comics to just promote each other's shit? So people would. Isn't that what some people are doing? Like Rogan and all those guys are yeah. just promoting each other. Yeah. And getting people into that West Coast contingent, like it's fucking amazing. They have a good group. It's amazing. Yeah, but you ever talk to them? What do you mean? No, what? 
<laughs> yeah, they're hot on paper. We were, yeah. like a real we, were on a, we were on the boat. Let me tell you something. I hung out, and I, I'm friends with a lot of LA guys and New York guys. But there's a major difference when you're at a table with New York comics or a table with LA comics, dude. New York comics are all just in a conversation, trying to make each other laugh. But the only thing that's important is trying to fucking get that laugh out of everybody. Yeah. At the when you're in a conversation with the LA table, it's like literally like everyone's kind of like on their phones. And then they'll mention what they got going on. They'll say, like, oh, you got to tell me about that. It's always, like, industry-related, but it's never any bit of humor or maybe just that, trying Maybe that's to... why they're most successful. Yeah, probably. <laughs> they're yeah, selling yeah, that's out why fucking... we're funnier. Yeah, let's stop doing... Let's stop being friends and being funnier, and let's really help each other promote shit. I, I The only time I've noticed it is one time I was with a couple of L.A. comics in L.A., and I tried busting balls, and it didn't <laughs> go over well at all. Yeah. I was like, yeah, right? Like, you're going to suck a dick. And they're like, what? And I was like, oh... <laughs> Yeah, so you guys are gonna go to the improv later? Yeah, I was like, I hope you bomb tonight. It's like, why would you say that? Yeah. It's my dream. I have a, I'm, I'm living my art. And you're like, oh, because you suck. I'm like, you you suck? <laughs> because you're an asshole. Yeah, I don't know. Jump in front of a bus. <laughs> why would you say those things? Your mother sucks cocks in hell. <laughs> Joe, do you got Joe one? Four, uh, <laughs> oh. you no, I, got, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he was just out there. I lost. I was there. Did you like it all in LA? I love LA. I think Joe's flipped. Joe's in, um, Joe is in, Joe's in LA. I love the city, but when I when I go to LA, I hang out with my friends from home. I hang York, out with yeah. Chris Walsh. I hang out with uh, you know uh, Tommy Johnigan and Henry Phillips. Who are I I think <laughs> I think that they do support each other though. I mean, crazy. Crazy support. Yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> well, I, but I don't know why. I think we do. I try to like we if support. I, once in every while, I'll see somebody like, oh, all right, this guy's here. Let me just fucking tweet out to anybody that this guy's over here. Yeah, we need to be. We could be better at it. I like think. we we could have like a, a a thing where it's like okay, let's all promote each other this week. <laughs> You're crazy attitude like that. If somebody does that, if some random comic just tweeted out my thing that I'm going to be there, you would think you were mocking. I'm like, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what, wrong? what the fuck is wrong? Why? With you? I get it, an asshole. You know what? Because I get that too. Because I'm like, <laughs> oh, you think? <laughs> what you think you're going to help me? Yeah. <laughs> you think I can't fucking be good at comedy? I would, all right, you do these jokes and just start going. In I would love all of you to tweet that I'll be in Charlottesville on Thursday. We have four tickets sold. I feel <laughs> Charlottesville, I feel Virginia, bad. Thursday. But yeah. God, go sake, seriously, go. What's the club's name? Give more the inter- Southern. The South sucks, dude. For like comedy, no. I've never done well going to the South. I, it might be because you yell the N word too much. No, they love it. That's so crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah what, what, it's not Vermont, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I, but no, I, I've heard that from like Jay. Like, it's not good for like podcast audiences. Like when you go down yeah. certain areas, Tennessee wasn't good. Florida was okay. I did good in Tennessee. I'm yeah. doing Zanies soon. I did all right in Zanies too. I did. I did. You know what though? <laughs> but I used to do the you know what, Tampa. Dude? Tampa, I fucking kill. Yeah. And murder in Tampa. Tampa's a good comedy city. I think, oh, it's though. great. Yeah, and they pay and real then, you well know, too. I tell you what, can I just say this real quick? The comedy connection, Rhode Island. Oh, unbelievable! I God it. damn it, those guys are <laughs> I great. Love it. Clubs great. Towns awesome. It's great, dude. dude the hotel fucking... is the shit. <laughs> the, the Omni. They got they pay, fucking titty bars. They fucking bro. pay you fucking. what you should get paid. They let you bring your own fucking feature kit if you wanna. And fuck they got yeah, titty dude. bars. Titty bars. They, dude, they got. They got. They got massage parlors. With regular chicks, they also and have a fucking like regular one, chicks. One like, show Friday, like Not Gabby. Asians. Don't put me. No, in. Yeah, and they got you a off f- after a work <laughs> back. <laughs> fucking Ivy League school there too. <laughs> would you like deep tissue? Would you like Swedish? Oh, I worked the shoulders. Would now you like? Would, 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 like would you like me to use all seven of my arms? <laughs> Feel free to <laughs> finish on one of my giant styrofoam eyes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, right. unbelievable. But here's the thing: I did Friday, Saturday. Sold out all the shows, and then I had a gig in Chicopee. Yeah, Cabot. I feel Chicopee. I feel bad. I, I canceled it. We canceled it. Yeah, you did a cooler gig. Tell the folks at home. Twenty. Well, the, I I did that, but uh, I twenty one oh. tickets sold, and I was like, guy, I'm gonna drive all the way to. Guy Chicope- Branham books it. No, I'm gonna drive all the way to Chicopee. <laughs> be away from my kid another fucking day, mm-hmm. which I don't like Where's to do. Where's Chicopee? It's in it's Western, Western, Western Mass. Mass. And I, I talked Great to club. The, the guy. The guy's great. Probably had the like gr- 60, 70 people there. It was a hot room when I did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, look, I, I, I know. <laughs> the same as you. I, I talked to Nate about it. I called Nate. I was like, he was like, <laughs> it was sold out when he did it. Yeah. But uh, the Pats were on that night. Oh, boy. I was like, but he was like, I get it. The guy was the sweetest guy ever. And the club, I've heard nothing but insane reviews about it's this great. place. It actually is. A, so, it's a very fun room. We're going to redo. You know what we should do? We should all go out there, when all four of us. Let's do it the weekend I'm working in Providence, and then we could just all get that out of the go, way. Go, huh? We should go do it one night, on a Sunday night. Just go do a gig out there. Perfect. Sell I'll close. it the fuck out. Huh? 
You can close. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, Dude, let me go at this, second. At this point, we could all three of I us can close. Hosting. What does that mean? <laughs> You'd have to go up at first. Or host. Host. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to host. I, uh, no, but I feel bad for the guy, but fucking... It, I didn't want to go from selling out the weekend to 21 people. So your ego didn't want to take the hit. I didn't want to do Let's that, to but this. also, I didn't want to... He's going to waste money. He's going to lose money to have me come in. Let's just... Do, let's do it another time and try to sell it the fuck out. Let's do it when the Pats aren't on. Let me come down. That's a, and I'll tell you this. I've done the connection when the Pats are in the playoffs. Playoffs? Playoffs? <laughs> we want to talk about playoffs? Um, <laughs> and uh, I made him wait to start the show until after the Pats-Ravens game because it was a playoff game. I'm like, dude, you're not starting the show in the fourth quarter of the Pats game. Mm. God, it's going to be one of the best rooms in the country. It's great. They took it from a shit room. You get that thing cooking. Cooking. Remember the show we did like seven years ago? Mm-hmm. It was Tom Dustin was headlining. Oh, it Providence. Was, yeah, in Providence. Oh, it was yeah. me, you, Nate, Tom. And Big Al. And Big Al. Wow, what a show. It was fucking fun. It's weird. I I think I would. I you would guys like, came over. You and Jay. No, it was Dave and Jay. Lewis oh, isn't no. there. I would love for it, us to actually, for maybe us four start it, where we start promoting each other's stuff every week. Lewis, can you do that? Nope. <laughs> Why can't you do it? Is it beneath me? In your head? <laughs> well, you don't have the gigs. You're not <laughs> headlining every cake. week. No, I am. Every right. week? Where are you headline next week? Uh, I will be Friday night in Mayberry, Connecticut. And yep. Saturday night, I'll be in Buffalo, New York. Um, and then December 8th, I'll be in Chicago. There you go. There you go. Nice. Can I say I get why that agent Hardcore hit on you? sweet cupcake. Hey, you know these... what, Gabby? Do you want me to fucking murder What's you? up? Do you want to you... murder you, <laughs> what you is fucking up? asshole? What did you say, Gab? She said hardcore sweet cupcakes, huh? That's the name of the club. <laughs> Where? In Oakville, Connecticut. Hardcore <laughs> sweet cupcakes. You're working at a cupcake store? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I am. Uh, can I, can I open for you? <laughs> 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 I'll come. You don't have to pay me anything. I'll pick you up. I'll drive uh, you there and take you home. I love how you m and it and you took the junk away from everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby goes, yes, I will work for cupcakes. Yes, I do love desserts. Yes, sometimes I do pass out. Dude. Um, yeah, all right, well, yeah, I, all right, we'll promote you right now, dude. The yeah, 12th, Chicago. Uh, the 12th, you're going to be at Levity Live. Ooh. That was yesterday. Yesterday, how was it? A couple it? days ago. Okay, it was all right. Um, November. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm not going to sit here and fucking brag about how you got four tickets sold, 21 tickets sold. I just go, hey, guys, thanks for coming out, and we move on. <laughs> That's the smartest shit in the world. Sexy yeah, I, sold, I sold out yeah. three shows. I'm all right with it. Yeah. Jesus I just don't want to end the weekend on fucking like, chicken. Uh, yeah, yeah, chicken bee. Yeah, chicken bee. Yeah. 21 people. <laughs> no, it was fun. That's what somebody said to me. It's a fun. I'm like, dude, I, I'm not into fun, okay? I want to have good shows. But uh, all right, so November 17th, hardcore. <laughs> Sorry. Sweet cupcakes. Hard- <laughs> Hardcore never, sweet cupcakes. This is the worst name for a comedy club. I, Hardcore- I don't know. It's not a comedy. It's just some dude's show. I don't know. Hardcore. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's dope. I don't know. He, he's, he's paying me. He said, dude, come out and fucking do it. Okay. Hard- dope. Let's do it. Hardcore sweet I'm not above anything. Motherfucker, if you'll pay me. Hard- fi- hold on. Shut up. If you'll pay Hardcore me. Sweet if you will pay me $500. And it's driving distance. Yeah. I will come and do any. I'll pay you five hundred dollars not to do that gig. Done. I'm getting four. <laughs> I asked for five. I asked for five, and they said no. By the way, Lewis just played that perfectly. He goes, "No, I can stay home." By the way, that's a fight night. <laughs> um, and then Laugh Factory, uh, uh, Chicago, what's, Illinois. What's the second one? What's that? Nietzsche's. Nietzsche's. What is that? It's a uh, 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 white club. supremacist. No, what is it? It's a white. It's like a rock club. Yeah. Oh, is it a rock club? Not Nietzsche's Buffalo. I want to promote you, dude. I, I do. I want people to go see of you. Of course, come fucking see me in Buffalo. If you don't, the see Laugh me in Factory, Buffalo. Chicago, the eighteenth, two shows, Eight. two shows in the fifteenth at Philly Comedy Club, Pennsylvania. Um, yeah, I think we should start promoting each other more. I think if I see, if I'm going to start doing it for you guys, if I yeah. see you guys doing shit, I'm going to start. Prom- I think if we start, if we build up a massive almost like mailing list between all of us New York comics yeah. and start promoting each other. So you would just there. Tell them to go see me. I'll tell them to go see you. I'll, we'll get all the same fans and build oh. up a fucking army. And then we can get Louie involved in this too. He needs some help. Uh-huh. Yeah, someone can let him he opens. He's opening for Lewis. He go, Louis featuring for Lewis. I just jerk off in front of him. I make him watch me jerk off. Yeah, he like, goes, yeah, how does it feel? Watch it. And he goes, I don't like this. <laughs> you can see me on that. Netflix. I'm the guy... Hugging Louie on his special. 2017 is the name of the special. He didn't ask me for the hug. Just gave it to me. Laid it on him? Uh, um, Are you sad? 
What's that? We're both sad. I'm very sad. I'm very sad, too. The only silver lining is that Joe List doesn't get to play the Garden anymore. How about these people, uh, some of these people, we talked about it, this, the <laughs> naivete. There's like, I read a, like the Boston Comedians, there's like a page, a post, or whatever, like a, you know, a big uh, thread. And some people were like, well, now that he's gone, they should give these opportunities to other comedians. And then some guy's like, well, he usually would rent out his own room. It's not like he was getting booked. I'm like, well, that place can rent out the room to other comics. I'm like, they can. yeah, maybe they can slip someone else into the Madison no, Square can. Garden eight they times. They can rent it out. Go whatever fucking dumb, twitty, fuck, funny female comic or gay that thinks that they're going to take Jesus. Louis' place now. Go rent out the garden and see how many tickets you sell, you fucking morons. Well, the, it's as simple the, as that. Here's, let me tell you why Louis is going to be fine. Because if Louis rented a theater tomorrow... Everyone would still fucking come. His fans would come. The people that are not that are that are abandoning Louis, they're not comedy fans. There's some dumb fucking feminist twat that read some blog that Louis probably got praised in. It's like, a very small. Like it's a very small percentage of people that are abandoning Louis. Most yeah. people, most people are uh, are uh, st- still fans wise. But HBO, That's true! yeah, HBO, mm-hmm. Netflix, FX, his yeah. manager, his agent, yeah, but his they all because here's the thing: the industry has to do that. They're just literally doing. It's like you know when in blackjack where you have to hit on fucking fifteen or whatever yeah. the deal is, right? Yeah, <coughs> you has just, to hit on you have 15. to you got to play that card. That's it. Simple as that. That's what they have to do. They got to dump them. They got to do it. They know literally behind closed doors, people at HBO are going, "Louis, yeah, it fucking sucks, dude." Obviously, we'll see in a year. Do or you two. think that's what most of the yes. conversations are? Yes. Buddy, listen, they they just had uh, Mel Gibson on the Good Morning America yeah. show. He he's he, doing he, a fucking comedy, yeah. a, a dad comedy. <laughs> where he was f- raising about the Jews and getting drunk and fucking. Would you, I I I just hope that Louis. Is okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. You. <laughs> Lewis, are you okay? I'm good. I'm doing the old right. Louis. <laughs> old Louis. Old Louis. Yeah. I mean, you. You. Worry. It's also the other thing is like when you go. When like you let, this like, kind of piling uh, on. You go to you go to Vegas, course, right? And what? you fucking win at the table, and he's been winning and winning and winning and winning and winning. And now he's got to take a fucking couple nights off of the table, and he'll be back. I don't feel bad for Louis because he's still got all those fucking chips. He's still got a yacht. He's still a billionaire. He's still considered the funniest. Nobody comic feels bad. Well, first of all, you just said nobody, I feel bad for Louis. Nobody feels bad. Well, let me finish the sentence. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> nobody feels bad for Louis because his monetary, uh, monetary shit about uh, of boats and houses and money. We feel bad for Louis because he's st- emotionally he's in a fucked up place. He's he's got kids. He's got a family. Well, the he, world he, is piling on top. The of world piling on top of him and uh, uh, putting him with rapists and pedophiles, which he does not belong in, and he can't do anything about this. And he has to sit there and let people do it. I'm sure Louis's not sitting there going, poor me, but he, I feel bad for my friend that he's going through this psychological fucking nightmare. I'll tell but you knowing that- Louis, I know he will get, he will find growth out of this he will find something out of this to bring to something yeah. to his life personally he will evolve through this it's gonna be doing yeah but it, also worth noting he lost about 50 million dollars in 10 hours yeah that was crazy i know but i don't think he care he doesn't care about no he doesn't care I about really, that but he, i think he cares more about the fact that he can't make the things he was making yeah. he likes to make stuff he's yeah, a, but he, yeah, he's he a creative person he, when you're when that's taken yeah. away from you when that ability to make i mean yeah, but for a lot of us, going on stage is just a, is a, is a great like. Even though it's our job, it's our thing we love and sometimes look forward to when we're going through shit. Can, can I say? Your, so, yeah, can I, well, I? I know. I understand. But, I just, but, oh, sorry. What I was saying is, <laughs> but I've watched like when Chris Rock was going through his divorce. I watched a moment where Chris Rock and Louis had a conversation, <laughs> and they were like kind of like talking about stand up. He can't do it now. Fuck all of you. I, Fuck all of you. I'm buddy, accusing all of you of sexual harassment. I just I'm gonna take everything. Funny. Everything I'm gonna funny. take. Away <laughs> I'm taking away everything. That was you funny. jerked off in front of me. I, you I, jerked I, off in front of me. I'm saying <laughs> oh, he's Oprahing uh, sexual harassment. Everybody's fine. Yeah, but I, I think what bumps Louis out is if Louis loves, he really has an eclectic group of friends no, that he's very nice to, and that he does. You ever go over to Louis's house with me and nope. Joe's been over there? Yes. He has this beautiful uh, relationship with all these people, actors, actresses, regular people with their, and they all their kids come over and friends, and you sit down. He's in the kitchen cooking. It's like this. You're like, wow. There's this other side of Louis who's very social and that so giving, so giving, you know, personally. That it's like I feel bad that he's alone right now or wherever the fuck he is. And 
that is all kind of <laughs> fucked just up. Just cut scene. There's just bitches and money around him. <laughs> He's like, let's go full Monty. <laughs> just doing blows. Like, <laughs> He's just jerking off in front of hookers that he bought. With, <laughs> oh, oh, with, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm on a yacht. I'm in international waters. <laughs> all of these girls are 15. <laughs> Sucking and fucking. That's the Louis way. You know what the CK stands for? <laughs> it stands for sucking and fucking. You just got to pull the full I don't need in. to spell it. I'm rich, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at Joe's fucking Joe's not nothing to do with this Sucking teenage Spanish <laughs> pussy He was trying yeah. How was, do you spell suck? CK, yeah. bitch ah. Jesus Christ, I'm Joe. getting cum uh, in my mouth Joe. I'm putting cum in there right well, there. there I'll spit it back into my mouth Oh, oh, oh no, snowballing All right, all right, relax, Joe Joe. Well, sometimes it they gets too big. I don't know what to the say. Whole time My thing was, I was thinking the opposite bit. <laughs> what? You hear the toilet flush, and then Louis comes out in pajamas from the, you know, the attic of. He's, the not, he's raping kids. This is way better. Stop it. Raping kids. kids? Don't Stop, say that. Don't say that. In our fantasy. No, no, not yours. Dan wasn't involved in Dan, that. Dan, you were. I wasn't you. involved in that. Those international waters. I said they were teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are kids. I just want to let you know the fantasy I created was all oh, legal and maritime law would find. It's not legal in maritime. Yeah, that's it's sure. not. It's not. It's whoever's yeah. flag they raise. I was just on a boat, motherfuckers. Yep. I know the laws. I, I'm saying, I understand, Joe. It, it's sad. Yeah, well, well it's a we all knew it was just sad. To, I'm just trying to get off this. It's a bummer, but it's also just great. Like I talk to people, and uh, or I've read, I've, I've read too much. I should get off of social media. But some people are like, um, well, if he, well, we'll see how he behaves now. Maybe he <laughs> goes to rehab or therapy, and if he starts giving back to the community, and you're like, yeah. guys. He already did that. Yeah. This yeah. happened 12 to 15 years ago. All He's of done it? so much for all five of the incidents. Yes, they, they, these three yeah, women. So I'm just, like, a, I'm just asking you to yeah. say that because we need this. If someone's listening right now, you need that clarification. Yeah, I think people just skip parts. I think a lot of people didn't even read the thing, well, and people just take it into, that these women were in a corner. They hear like, it. That's not exactly. They hear what even happened. people who read it when they're telling the story, they condense it to fit their, their, yeah. what they, you know, how they want to, yeah. how quick they need to say it to get their point of view. My this wife was... read the story and then she said something to them. I'm like, honey, that's not even true. You made that up. And it was for the defense of Louis. Wow. And I was like, you can't just say that. You this have is to... 2002 as well. It's like, it's a different time, dude. Limp Bizkit was on top. There's only two genders back then. Yeah, Fucking... that's true. Yeah, dude. You got to but... take one of them. They, um, I, I watched the thing on ABC News. They had one of the women in, um, the one that said no, mm -hmm. and he didn't. Rebecca ask Corey, is that the chick's name? Yeah. So they did a little, uh, segment with her, and they show her telling the story. And by the way, I have no, I don't begrudge any of these women. You they can't. should tell the story, and yeah. that's fine. I, I begrudge the people that read the story and go, ah, he should fucking lose all his money. Yeah, yeah good for these people that are taking such joy, mm -hmm. and supposedly liberal people. Taking joy in a guy just going down and losing all this stuff. Like yeah. FX is no longer paying him residuals. That's his money. He That's did the crazy. work. That That's doesn't he's even make sense. He's losing his own money for something that happened. I hope he sues the shit ago. out of him for that. And so he won't. He'll just. He's just taking it. Uh, but I read the so the ABC News, which is a news thing. They show her. They ask her the story, and she tells the story, which she should do. And she said, "You know, he walked up to me. He got really close to my face and said, can I masturbate in front of you in your dressing room?' Which is fucking weird and sexual harassment in the mm -hmm. workplace." Mm -hmm. And then it cuts away. That's the end of it. it. Cuts back to the newscasters going, "Oh well, he's a blah blah blah." They purposefully, you, they were in the editing room and went. She obviously the next part of the story is, "I said no." He got embarrassed and walked away. Yeah. The editor of ABC News went, we don't need that part. Put that, get yeah, rid of that. Yeah. Well, of course. We don't need the want, part where he says. story that they have to tell. She says and no, and he leaves. They want people we to have... keep on clicking in, and they have to compete with regular television shows and the dramas and Game of Thrones. I don't even and know how these... these news people exist. How they look in the fucking mirror. Coming up at 10, how we sleep at no, night. No, how they lie. <laughs> they fucking, CNN, CNN fu they edit these things. They, they, they fabricate these scenarios. And, and and people sit there and believe them. it's like garbage. I don't know how they fight all these news. It's, all this news is garbage. It yeah. just bothers me when you like you have a. But now that but now even reading this shit, it's like it's all fucking garbage. It's somebody's whatever. The, they're all biased. They they have their own agenda, and then mm -hmm. they print it, and people read that, and oh, that's fact, mm -hmm. and it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just uh, weird to be like, well, we'll see what he does. If he can give back, he should give back to the community. I'm like, that guy, he's been giving back. Can I, say I did a yeah, show and during North Carolina, the bathroom, during the bathroom thing last year, all these people, Bruce Springsteen, hmm. Pearl Jim, they all canceled the North Carolina gigs. 
Louis was like, no, no, we should go to North Carolina. Don't punish our fans who are liberals. Yeah. He said, and just donate the money. He tried to, he reached out to Bruce Springsteen. He tried to get him to do the same. They never responded. So we did the show. He donated all the money, $181,000 of his money to the LGBT. They never thanked him or anything. That's neither here nor there. And it was just quiet. It didn't pick up. Nobody $250,000 made his own special, sold on his own website, a million dollars in a fucking day. $250,000 of it went to charity. Another $250,000 of it went, he gave bonuses to the people that had been working for him and helped make it. And he gave that money to them. And he's, he's brought, uh, you know, Rachel Feinstein on the road and Michelle Wolf. And, yeah, he brought, uh, he brought Joe on the Eliza road. Eliza Skinner. I'm he, a girl, he, sort he of. Told me he, was um, bring, <laughs> he told me he was going to bring me on the road and never called me back. And the patriarchy. Um, <laughs> and then also, I mean, I, you know, Pamela's show, which he's done great work on. And, and helped get that. He helped get Tig's show on the air, obviously. Yeah, but uh, if she's actually, t- that's interesting, too, because she's come out against him. Well, she took the payment and then, I don't know really now, because yeah, she, she yeah, was like, I can't work for someone that I heard all these rumors about. It's like, well, you don't have a problem. Yeah. She actually, I haven't producing. liked her since she was on Wayne's World. She actually said, that's pretty good. this is what's weird. She, what she said, she said, I can't talk about what ha- we had an incident. I can't talk about it. I don't feel comfortable talking about it. But then she did a episode on her show of a guy jerking off in front of her mm-hmm. and how uncomfortable it is for a woman to have a guy jerk off. So she made it sound like Louie did that to her too. When that's not even near true, we the incident isn't sexual. It can't yeah. be sexual. Uh, what you said, oh, there's any. So you're making people think that he did something to you too, maybe sexual. You're actually adding, piling on to this. And now that he's come out and said, look, this is the deal. Where how come you haven't said anything now? Why didn't you say it before he put his name on your show? I think she found out after. No, oh. but that's. Maybe. Who knows? But everyone's, everyone else says these rumors have been around for years. It's the worst kept secret, yada, yada. So I think she would have been the only yeah, one that everyone, hadn't heard that Everyone story. knew about Louis jerking off in front of women. This is something Ugh. that like has been, I mean, probably six, seven years. I You hear about things like that. All right. Unbelievable. But um, I, I mean, it's like, here, and I'm going to be honest with you, I think we have a responsibility to be vocal and speak out and, and actually give our opinions on this. And everyone's being very silent on social media because everyone's afraid of the shit that they're going to lose. I'm being silent on social media because it's, first of all, I don't, I don't do that shit well. I don't. I, I can do this well. I can, yeah. I, I can actually have a full conversation about it yeah. and learn things that, like, I've listened to Burr. I've listened to Marin. I've listened to a bunch of people on both sides, I, I, I read a bunch of shit about it to form an, uh, uh, an opinion. Because well, I'm not good right away just tweeting some shit. But I'm also saying, like, that's also that's also a problem with our current culture is if you don't tweet about it, it means you don't have a stance. That's not true oh, at all. We, had a, we, we spent this whole episode talking about it. I talked about it yesterday on the bonfire. Can so I, I used a lot of my I, outlets. I, here's the thing. Like, not everybody listens to the podcast. And I almost feel like, and I, I'm saying, I'm a, you guys, look, you don't have a responsibility. I, that's the wrong word to use. I do feel like more people should be giving their honest opinion because most people feel the way we all feel in this room. This is the conversation at every. Yeah, but this class. is social media. I mean, this is a but huge you can, form of social gonna, media. You're going to tweet this, this out. Yeah, I tweet like, this episode out to everybody. You can find. And it's you not can find be hard to find my opinion. And the yes. people that are reading Twitter for my opinion don't know me. They're just they're just following me on a website. Fucking Twitter. But Gabby, I'm saying that. that Gabby, what do you sense. think? You're a woman. What do you think of this whole thing? I think it's tricky. I think it came out at a time where all of this really bad shit was happening. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what I can't even talk. I want to hear Gabby. What's up with bedtime? I want to hear. Don't Gary, you hear when your parents um, give you a bedtime? <laughs> Gabby, I'm so sorry. We yeah, need to hear I'm Gabby's done. opinion. Sorry, so Gabby, 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 legitimize. No, no, no. Go. Gabby, we need you. Gabby, you don't have a Muppet voice. We need, we need to be opinion. legitimized. You are a woman. You have powerful ovaries. Can you just scream and smoke a cigarette before you do the next show? She's like, all right, here's the deal. I think. <laughs> fuck, fuck. Put your schmuckle away. I think it came out <laughs> at a bad time with yep. Harvey and that really fucked up shit. Don't yeah. even look hurricane. At it. Yeah. And look at yeah, let her get a um, I think it's not that bad. I think he recovered from it forever ago. It's a fucked up thing he did. He apologized. He was completely are, honest. If that are, happened to me, I'd be like, you're a. Uh, you're what happened to Lewis? What happened me. to Lewis is worse. So my mom, I told my mom about this, and my mom goes, "Dan, I used to work with attorneys all the time." She's like, "You don't think they got drunk and flashed their dicks at me?" She, go, she goes, she goes, they would do it. And by the way, they're they're the attorneys. My mom's the mediator, so she works for them. And she'd you be remember? like, she'd be like this, put your fucking cock away. Can I say And then something? the next day when they saw her, they'd be like, hey, Trish, sorry, I got a little hammered, huh? Yeah. Let's go to this mediation. My mom was like, I never held it against them. I, 
I always was like, you know, kind of bummed. Don't get drunk with fucking coworkers. Don't <laughs> go back to people's like... hotel rooms. I don't Sorry. know what you want me to say. Yeah, <laughs> well, it sounded like <laughs> you were really looking to go for a dick pull out right there. No, I, re- I wore the wrong belt buckle. I got cocky this morning. <laughs> this thing's dig. I this this is my show timer. When this thing starts hurting, we got to end the show. Mm. Because you guys want to see something special? But do you remember, like, do you remember? <laughs> I, was I think thinking he about- asked them, and they said yes. But that's still tricky because he was using his power. Yes, yes, yes. What do yes. the girls' comics think? What are the, what's the buzz around the young comics? I think everyone doesn't know what to think because we all love Louie, but it's also like we've all been in a situation other girl- like that. Uh, and- oh, really? Have you been in a situation like that? I think everyone's been like a little too sexual when you don't want them to, you know? You've always now- been like, mm, don't do that. No, oh, I want to, I want, that's interesting you say that. It's so funny. I've had it like, I, I know that energy where you're like trying to be sexual and a girl's like, let's not do that. And you're all, oh, okay. So- yeah, I'm not like, I, that's why I'm not sexual with female comics. I've dated a couple at this point but i don't just fuck female comics because the truth is it's gonna get weird no matter what when you fuck it gets weird eventually yeah. and when you have to be working with them and you're in this environment where everyone's got an opinion and everyone's got social media and it's almost like an addictive thing it's almost like well yeah that if, if you give if you have a weird sexual experience with this chick as a comedian it's almost like the thing she's gonna go to in her mind if she's even a good comic if there's this weird thing in her fucking life so it's like there, there's no upside to that i i gabby you know, i think this is different though because like these are you know lower in the rank comics they're you know rising and they go to Louis's hotel room thinking that they're going to get advice or be chummy they or like think that. But that's crazy. Well, they were supposed to but smoke what weed. What are you but... like if you open up for Louis and because he was like I'm come back dude. to my it's hotel not, room? It's not it's not out of the, look at com, the comedy community after a gig to say hey let's go back to the room and party. That's not it's weird. not a yeah. it's not a weird thing a for a dude and a chick. I would always assume he's trying to fuck two, chick. every time. two chicks. A dude and two chicks. It's not a weird thing to assume that we're just going to go <laughs> hang out. What and the not fuck. Dan thinking? Oh, I would be trying to fuck those two chicks. I got one of the things. I'm the... never inviting chicks back to my hotel room if I'm not trying to fuck them. But I make it also very clear. But also that's someone they just room, did a show with. Well, we don't know. know. Wait if a second. I'm... Stop. Stop. We don't know what happened. Yeah, we never heard. True. So we're all guesstimating on this shit. We never heard Louis' side of it. We never heard what they said to well, him. He just said I heard Louis' true. side of it. <laughs> what? I... That's not my story to tell. Exactly. You can't tell that. That's his. That's his story to tell. Some people know. Some people know things. Bonnie and I were at the stand last night, just laughing, thinking about two girls in like winter parkas as Louis is buck naked. Like, it's, just, it's funny. It's funny to think like two women are in heavy yeah. coats, and he's like, "Yeah." It's like, uh, it was, well, in the know. Gawker article, was making Bonnie which, uh, like, from 2012 funny. or whatever. I think it was the Gawker. One of the yeah. articles. It said they gave a sarc- He asked if he could masturbate, and they gave a sarcastic thumbs up. Which, if you're in the realm of sexual harassment, maybe don't use the sarcastic thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, maybe maybe use the like sure, buddy. No. Maybe use the automatic no thumbs up. But that, I mean, that might Can be hearsay also, by the way. I, it's a blog, so I don't know, because they said that the story is that's fake, so, so I don't know what's real. But, I just but love... if that part's real, don't use the sarcastic <laughs> thumbs up sarcastic in sex situation. Dirty, sarcastic dirty talking? We're like, yes, fuck me. Somebody actually <laughs> said, fuck <laughs> me so hard. But that could oh, all be rolling. fake. Somebody oh, actually insulting. said they were joking about it the next day, too. She was like, I was joking. And I was like, yeah, jerk Like, they off. were actually telling people the story in a funny way. Of course. Yeah, but like a they couple people say that. They weren't, they weren't not... They weren't like we're they fucking. Or- they were talking like I've comics. Had, I, there, there are girls that I know, and this happens any New Yorker. This like, dude, talk to any fucking New Yorker who's been ridden the subways for ten years. You've watched some creepy fucking homeless dude jerk off, right? Train. I remember the dude. Times. And and I'm gonna tell you right now, the there's piece. some women. I'm not, I'm not discounting the experience of the woman that that really is traumatic for her. Yeah. But Jesus Christ, dude, if you can't go to work anymore because some fucking homeless guy jerked off in front of you, move out of New York City because it's gonna happen again. I know, but it, but but here's the thing: you ha- that that image that they have now forever. It does you can't take away it, it? It does haunt somebody, and you can't say "fuck you." That shouldn't. And when they get on the train now, it's like getting mugged. You're gonna be scared. You're gonna be like, "Oh, is there a guy jerking off? Is that guy jerking off?" It, it's this uncomfortable feeling. So you going to work happy, liked your life, love New York, and now all of a sudden you're getting on the train, fucked up and scared. Am I gonna see this again? Fuck. And you're twitching, which sucks for people. You can't tell somebody to just shake that off because mm-hmm. not yeah. everybody can just shake shit off. Some people are more sensitive than others. Mm-hmm. It's a great that, Taylor Swift song. Huh? Great but, Taylor Swift song. So you can't just say fuck. 
You have to acknowledge that. You have I, to. I know you could acknowledge it, but I can say no. You have to move on. I mean, you can move on. Absolutely, I'm sure they and do. I think but they it did doesn't... move on. I think they did yes. move on, and now there was an article. I mean, they haven't. It's not like they've been for years being like, "Fuck Louis, take yeah, him down." Yeah, they did move on. They moved on. Everyone moved on. It was and that then this, the article, this Weinstein stuff came out. Yeah, and so they wrote this article. So my issue again is not with these women, and I feel bad that they went through that. If it was uh, traumatic, it sounds traumatic. I've, yes, every woman. I know. I mean. The, ultimately, this is all a good thing. The Harvey Weinstein, the Cosby, mm-hmm. because it's making every guy go, I better not fuck around or do yeah. weird shit anymore, yeah, which yeah, is a yeah. positive. And clearly, mm-hmm. it's a fucking epidemic. I literally yeah. don't know a woman that doesn't have a story of harassment well, or you raping had one. or you everything. Were, you were getting to I'm, I don't even need to know. No, you have no. plenty, I'm sure. No, but I'm saying you, you had one, you said. I feel like everyone's had an assumption that someone's coming on to them when yeah. you're looking for like mentorship or like a little, you know, you go back with a male comedian and you're like, okay, either he's going to give me really good advice or he's going to try to fuck me. You know, like it's... But let me, right. let me but, say, can I, uh, in, in well, knowing that, and in knowing that. And that's just not a male comedian. Gabby, I take that back. Gabby, in knowing oh. that, right, and that's part of the, the temperature of the world, <laughs> and, and men men are typically trying to fuck women. That's just the reality. We're, we're adults here. Okay? And vice versa. When you make the decision to go back to a person's hotel room, and you say that in your head, you're like, all right, he's either going to give me advice or try to fuck me. You're still saying, hey, there's that, there's that door number two yeah you're definitely aware yeah. so you need to sit there and go okay well if he goes for door number two i should have been aware by no means is he a right to grab you touch you assault you but at the same time i feel like every man has a right to take a shot what is the problem with taking a shot but, if okay your but if your jerk, shot is okay but, to jerk off in front of a girl but then we we kind of laid out you, wait a second we laid out for guys i we, for like i said before we used to watch movies like Porky's where guys, were, it was okay to see a movie where guys were watching girls shower and then sticking their dicks through a hole. That was, that was all right. In movie. You can't do a movie like that anymore. Well, we'll you, see. You, right? We've changed. We've Porky's evolved five. culturally. Right? Porky's five starting to answer. But, but, right? I mean, it was pretty crazy back then. Now, um, you cut to with things we do now where you, you, we set it out like first base. Kiss. If a girl's kissing you and you can kiss, then you maybe touch a booby, and then you go to second, third base, and then fourth. There's no rule there. You can put a girl. On, you can, can put a hand on a girl's but, thigh. What if that's your thing? If your move to fuck a chick is, I want to. Hey, nah, what's up? I don't know. Dead no, no, I, I think that's, I think that's a little aggressive. I don't, I don't I'm lose Jay trying to kiss no, 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 no. Let me say this. What'd you say? What, what about the women that enjoy a guy doing that? That's what they want. They want a man to put her hand on her thigh, <laughs> and she's not wearing any panties, and she's that no, She's not. like, I want him to fucking. I'm such a naughty girl. I just thought of a great idea for a podcast. The Lewis J. Train. You and Jared Freed, bro. Whoa! Couple of bros. Great a brown idea. bro and a white bro. bro. White bro, brown bro. I got yeah, a piece so bad. White bro, brown bro. Why are you diabetes? This is the second one. I drank like fucking five bottles of water. All right, uh, All right we're going to wrap this up. we we'll just repeat. Um, so I think this is a good show. Um, I But look, can I just say this real quick, too? Go ahead. Again, like, and, and I, th- I, I think it's a positive, and I think that... Um, Joe Obviously, there's excessive uh, misogyny in the in the world in all fields, mm-hmm. and uh, but to me, the crazy, sick, weird thing is that we live in a fucking time and society that you can lose everything you worked for for thirty years in ten hours Sad. for a thing you did fourteen years it's ago. The saddest thing in the world. I mean, that, that is not a crime. That is not uh, illegal. That is not anything that has infringed upon the rights of anybody in any legitimate tangible way in some crazy sort of you know i think you're right yeah. political you know under the microscope by by uh, you know a certain definition i guess you could say that he crossed the line but that is def- that line is up for debate that line in society it's a huge disparage d- disparagement between where people believe that line i is. just don't i think what joe's saying is true that what ha- the, the the what happened to him was overkill what what happened to him was a reaction to all this other shit that's going on and I don't think Louis deserved to be in the category that they shoved him in. It's irresponsible. And then took away everything from him like he was some type of predator. And he's not. Louis is one of the nicest, most beautiful human beings I've ever met. And he's helped me with... I'm sorry. He's helped me with fatherhood. I've called him. In situations where I didn't know what to do, because I didn't, I don't have a dad, I don't have a fucking dad, and I've called him and I've talked to him, and he's helped me be a better dad and a better husband in fucked up situations. So, to have him put in 
some predatory fucking piece of shit category? You don't know, Louie. You took one thing, a couple mistakes, things that he feels bad for now, 10, 15 years later, when now there's a father and a friend and his life is different. And you, uh, I think you should be ashamed of yourself that we can either, you know, we can't see the, 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 that, okay, this man is not that. He's not a rapist. He's not a pedophile. He's not an assaulter. And um, talking to you, Dan. No, no. I, I just think that. And we, I say, and I the think, patriarchy. And I, think I think we should not woke. I'm I think kidding. we. I think we should take a second to see. I know we joke, but we should take a second as comedians and as as this fucking industry to to look at this and maybe maybe get instant replay, maybe hit instant replay and look at it again and go. You know what? Mm. I think we fucking went a little too far with this guy. I don't think anyone's doubting that we went too far. No, some anyone. people are. Well, those some people, people say they should get jail time. Well, there's there's girls that are on Facebook now saying anybody defending Louis, don't book them at your show. You hear the, in these Facebook groups, no, like the chick. I get, I still get screenshots from chicks. I don't think you should defend. I'm not, but that's, you no one's they're, defending they're, they're Louis. Saying, they're, they're saying people that are defending and like uh, they're making it a black and white issue. But it's. they're like re- they're trying to reach out they're to they're industry. Looking for internet high fives. They're they're not, yeah. you know, I don't think anybody defends anything, and I think these women, we should be there for them. <laughs> If, Absolutely. And, if these and women I, are affected by this, you should be there for them. And they are. And we should be there for Louis. Well, that's what's awesome. But I think that as humans, we all make mistakes. And I also think we need to fucking call out opportunists exactly. that are using this yeah. fucked up situation yeah. in order to fucking perpetuate their career that's based on mediocrity. Yeah, and Guy not real, Branham. Not, not Guy. I'm talking about other people. Yeah, think, Guy Branham. We're I talking think, about you. That's what Dan means. I think Guy's funny, but I think, guy, I think Guy's... Was a little out of school. Tweet it out. Dan Soder mm-hmm. thinks Guy Branham's gay. I, I mean, he is gay. He's pretty confirmed on that. He knows uh, he's gay. Sorry. Well, there you go. So oh, we got something. My bell. But I'm saying, I, I think <laughs> oh, as God. comics, we need oh, to God. fucking we need to remember who these people are that are opportunists. Yes. And when this shit cools off, they need to be reminded that we were, that we were. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much, guys. Okay, invite me into your Facebook group so we can talk about Louis J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to the industry first. I'll say he's a bad man. Hey, man, in five years, we're going to look back on this and go, and all this shit that's happening, we're evolving. My son and your son are going to be better for all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, you're right. I actually thought that the other my day. That's kid, the one yeah, thing. Look, my, my son kid's is going to grow up in it where there's- my kid, I, my kid, <laughs> <laughs> but it is my kid's gonna be. We stink. <laughs> no, I'm saying that. I, I seriously, I I was thinking about this because I think about you too because you're in the same situation as me. Yeah, we have this kid and we're trying to raise him, but the way we were raised was fucked up. Our kids aren't gonna do this type of stuff. They're gonna treat women better. That's great. Gonna, they, we this. I, I wish we could. My kids aren't. We we're gonna. They're gonna be better human beings yeah. than we were. I'm like people think I'm such an asshole, but it's like. I am such a fucking faggot when it comes to my kid. Oh, like, I really am. <laughs> like, little things. Wow, way to st- take one step backwards as you're trying to step forward. I'm trying. I'm trying. But no, my like my son, like, well, people are like, oh, would you care if your son was gay? It's like, my son can literally play with whatever toys he wants. Yeah. He can fuck, if he wants, dude, if my son wants to wear a yeah. fucking bow in his hair, I wouldn't give a shit. My kid, my kid for <laughs> Halloween, had an Ursula wig on and was literally playing with the braid like, daddy. And I was like, gay man, rock and roll, buddy. You Do said whatever gay you want. man? No. He was gay, man. He goes, gay. Get that shit out of my face, son. Was Dick it your, check. Was it, your, was it your Monica wig? <laughs> Same wig? It was oh. Ursula. Oh. So from uh, from uh, that movie, such Little Mermaid. Br- you guys Little such, Mermaid, yeah. yeah. such brother and sister. But it's like, you know, hey, look, uh, uh, we're... <laughs> We're at a way different time, obviously, yeah. but you can't also expect to reprogram time. people. People are programmed <laughs> yeah. from the time they're fucking one years old to the time they're four years old, and it's really parents. It's the yeah. parents' responsibility yeah. to fucking do the right thing during that time. So you're asking the entire generations of people to be reprogrammed and to undo. <laughs> it's their okay culture. to do that. No, not it reprogrammed. Is. No, no, no. No, it's, it's okay to have these things blow up and have people go, what the fuck? To have a conversation, okay? Have, uh, and to, and to yes. share ideas and to yeah. come and say, hey, look, we no. need to learn from each other. But to say, if you don't think the way that I think, you can't have a career. Yeah. Fuck that. That's crazy. That's it's crazy. Away, That's it's taking scary. away the crazy. spirit of comedy. It is an attack on comedy. That GQ article is fucking crazy. It's an attack you on want, comedy. You want That's all, crazy. You want all the I comics agree. to be women and gays? Have fun with that fucking media. That is, se- fucking that is sexist. Scene. That's reverse sexism. Yeah, of course. That, that that's well, crazy can I just shit. Say this too, real quick, please. Because Joe. there is there's also like, um, I don't know the right word, like symmetrics or science behind the. Like I've seen some of these. I, I read too much, but people are like there should be two women on every show in the city. 
But some of those, I'm like, you just can't work. There's not enough women doing comedy. I book Roastmasters like, every week. We we book whoever is fucking available because it's it's whoever we can fucking get. Sometimes it's all women. Sometimes it's no women. But it, I never go, dude. You know what? We need some more dudes. But, there's too many fucking women so on this show. My point That's is, it's crazy. Like, there's like people that are we're like, looking every... for women. If you are a funny woman. If you're a funny fucking woman, guess what? You will fucking make a lot of money, period. I've never seen your stand-up, but if you're slightly good, keep at it. You'll have a fucking career, guaranteed. My, there is not one single funny... Name, can I finish me, my no, thought? No, let me make this point. There is not one... Name one... The point that's in can the you, middle of my I, point. Can you name, please let him make no, his no, point? No, no, let me make this point. What, can I... What, Lewis. What? Listen, what? we got it. No. You t- we, we just let him make the point. Okay, make the point. Jesus Christ. So they say, like, there there's should, not one sh- single funny one. That's pretty funny. There should be two women on every show, but I'm like, there's there's 10 <laughs> clubs and another 20 bar shows, and they don't factor in that, like, some women have a night, they take a night off, they have a kid, they're on the road, or they're not even attempting to get into some of these. Like, bookers of the, Patrick Milligan's not going out to Williamsburg to find, what well, you have right. to try to get into these clubs. Yeah, and then scrutinize like, the list so there's, and the lineups. So if you want two women on every show, there's 50 shows happening a night, so that's like, there's a lot of spots. Some of you just can't run to. I've booked a show. Sarah is a woman. She booked a show, and she's like, I, I couldn't get any women. I tried to get women. It's, it's like, just you can't, the, it's the there's just of... not, you can't just force women to do comedy. Well, you can't there's also... more doing it, which is great, but it's like, some of these things, you're like, that's not physically, scientifically possible you to also, have those spots. You can't ask for equality in results. You can't ask for, like, it to be like, why aren't there more female comedians? It's like, women drop out. There's more men, some men stick with it. I don't know, there's... People have been around. It's just, it's a numbers game. Well, you know what it is? It's because at every club, there is some man that is making women afraid to be there. <laughs> and at every, in every meeting, in every agency, there is some man that is using his power and his intimidation in order to make women afraid to be there. So I don't even I don't want to go there. I just, went to, I just went to LA last year when I took all those meetings. Yeah, it was you mostly. Ever fucking pull my microphone it was, away from me. Listen, it was mostly women. And gay men. I had four. And every fucking, I went to seven meetings. I have seen all of I did it. not sit, there was not one meeting, one meeting I went to where it was uh, two straight men. But I, there was women, there was a woman and a gay man in the meeting too. Exact same thing happened to me last week. Four meetings, three yeah. women. One man. I had one, meeting one gay one. guy, Dan Soda. And I was like, but it was mostly, um, oh, don't but, worry, I got that covered. But I don't understand <laughs> these meetings. Every meeting I had was women, and I have no problem with it. They were great people. Women and gay men. It was name, great. There was, name one female or gay man. Who is funny? A, a comedian who is funny, legitimately funny. Just that, at the very least, isn't on the track to being successful. Where do they exist? Name this. This. Oh my God, the, that chick is so funny. How does she not have anything? Amber Nelson. Mm. She should be she on the has track. Stuff. I don't know if she has enough stuff though. I don't know what's going on in her career, but, but I think I she's mean, fucking. Amber Nelson might be the funniest person. I can name. I can name. Incredible. I can name. Is Amber Nel- Who is she? I never met. Amber Nelson moved to L.A. Oh, she did. did. She move? Like, oh yeah, her daughter. She was in Rory Scovel's uh, opening. She, yeah. She's also been on TV a bunch. She's had a bunch of writing stuff. I don't know. It's not like she's. You're right. She's not not having success. I don't. What do you want me to say? Maybe she's not a household mm-hmm. name. Not every woman. Like you are not success. That's what you mean. No, I'm talking about less successful than me. I'm talking about like. Right. Where is a woman who is as funny as? Uh, just a funny woman who's not at least going there. The, the only thing that isn't that's maybe in her way is the the amount of time that she's been doing it. I think there's a. I think they don't that, exist. everything has changed. It's not a boys' club. It's 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 you know. I think it is easier I think to networks, be a female comedian today. I think ne- I think networks are really trying hard to put women directors, writers. People are gonna hate that I say this, uh, but this is a real thing. I had a legitimate role, like a big role on a show, and they go, "You're a white guy. We can't wow. give you this role." Are you kidding me? No. no, that totally happens all the time. I went Ralph, like, Ralph, oh, yeah. Ralph, Ralph. Why do you know, stop? Why do you know that, Gabby? Because I went to theater school. A bunch of my friends are, you know, white guy actors who are just like not getting as many. They roles legitimately anymore. the casting director. Even white, like, you see what they did with Hamilton? They booked all blacks. <laughs> 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 but they called me. The casting director called me and was like, "I just want to say, like, your callback was unbelievable. We think you were great." And I was like, "Yeah." And they're like. You're a white guy. We got to go with diversity. I had an Sorry. agent True. and the comic strip years ago. An agent, uh, a, a powerful agent, say, "I just can't. I have too many white guys." And this that happens is. every single. But fight. listen, oh, yeah. but I also understand story. that there is a there is a there's a balance to that, and I no, have a fucking no privilege in society, for diversity. and I understand that. But I'm saying like there is moments if you think that white guys. Like, this is a point. I don't want to say who made this point, but a friend of ours was like, you know, Guy Branham saying these gay guys are saying like all these straight men control the industry. He goes, I'm hearing Guy Branham say that, and I'm hearing, I forget what the other example was, and he goes, they have TV shows. 
I'm staring at my savings account, watching it dwindle because I'm a straight yeah. white guy, yeah. and I, and I'm fucking worried I'm going to be homeless. But, they, but people, and it's like, how do we control the industry if you're? Because when you get when you get power, when you get the control, yeah, you you want all of it. Yeah, you want more of it. Yeah, it's like it's like what, what it's white hard, guys it's did. To, it's hard back to, in the day. Yeah, it it doesn't exist anymore, and they they can't mm. fathom. It's like, dude, you, you, you it, it's not that way for white Imagine guys. Poor man, like during you, Sinatra times, just be oh. able to punch your wife. Like, yeah, hey, what's up, guys? Poor no, man want to be rich, and a rich man want to be king, and right. a king ain't satisfied. Joe until List, he rules everything. Yeah, Kesha. nice. Joe Kesha. List, where are you gonna be? Springsteen. Let's check this out. Thursday, Sun- Charlottesville. This Thursday, if you're listening live, Charlottesville, the Southern. And then December 1st and 2nd, Hasbrook Heights in Bananas. Just got sold. I mean, vice, vice versa. Just got sold. Yeah, that's a... Uh, New uh, Booker? No, the guy that's who owns... Grossman joint. Grossman joint now. <laughs> that's why I got booked. <laughs> damn it. Uh, oh, damn. I'll, I'll, I'll fucking... My fa- I'm going to say it right now. My favorite club in the world, Bananas. Hasbrook Heights. I'll, I'll probably never work there. Fucking again now. Why? Fuck, I bums you're me out. The, the, I love those two aren't people. are you at the Helium? Once every seven years, I get booked there. Dude. Uh, Vermont what? Comedy Club fucking in Burlington, God, Vermont, December 21st up. through the 23rd. And then uh, I'll be in uh, a lot of fans in the uh, tri-state area. We'll be in Poughkeepsie. Mark Norman and I co-headlining at Mahoney's Irish Ooh, Pub. Yeah. New Year's Eve. Great. Grand Rapids. I haven't put it in the website yet. Grand Rapids. There you go. The another club the I don't work. What, stress Factory. Really? What? I, no. You, Why not? Because I, 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 I literally... I work at Stress Factory with you. I literally ago. at... I, I love Vinny, but fucking no. I asked, I think for $200 more, and they said no. So I said goodbye. That's crazy. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. So there you go. But that's all right. I'm going to find a fucking theater. Do it. I'll find some theater in, in New, Jer- New Jersey, because New Jersey is one of my favorite places in the world to perform. Go to Those are Reming. my fucking people. Go to why don't you, no. Bobby, why don't you just rent a fucking small spot? I'm going to. I'm yeah. gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on one of their fucking nights too. That's, what I do. that, 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 that's, that's literally that's, what I do. Cause suckers. nobody will book me. I just book my own venues. I don't, well, I want to. I don't want to work at Cupcake Factory. I want to work. No, that they book me. <laughs> that place actually booked me. I was joking. It was just. Do a, I just want to say I do. I want the whole factory. <laughs> just do a show for the employees as they throw cupcakes in yeah. my mouth. And they go watch. Jokes. They go every good joke. Throw them a cupcake. <laughs> Dan Soda, Cap City. Yeah. Uh, another club. I don't work. Okay. Um, November this is, a, this is the oddest way to plug gigs. <laughs> is this a guy upset by clubs that his friends are working? Maybe you ah, dude, look at this for them, Bobby. fucking dickhead <laughs> working fucking Cap love, City. I love fucking side splitters and I love comedy connection. Uh, no, this this actually club. Dan, get your I photo w- touched up. Look at those wrinkles. Look at the teeth. Went, Jesus. I went to that club. Yellow fucking crooked teeth. Uh, I that's went to what that. I was drinking. All right, guys, enough with your shit. I gotta end the show. Shut I know, up. You can't even get a sentence out in this you goddamn can't. pod. You fucking too a sucky. <laughs> it's today. fucking easier to get out of a hotel room with Louis right, C.K. Settle oh! down. Oh! <laughs> the truth steps in at the end. Ah, uh, Kitty. No, this club is a great club. I actually, uh, I love Austin, and I went to this club to do some roast battle shit for Ross. Uh, beautiful club. November thirtieth, first, second. Just put. The way my fucking page is set up, I have to do wow. each individual show. Terrible. Just it's... November 30th through December 2nd, Dan Thank Snyder will be in Austin, it. Texas. It looks great. The and then he's going to start filming. Club. Don't listen to these. He's haters. starting to film season three. We're halfway through season three, bud. God damn it, I can't wait. What a bad and thing. Then, uh, and, I, I, and then I, Funny I, Bone in Albany. I'm so mad. Funny Bone in Albany. Yeah, I'm doing okay. the Albany Funny Bone. And Who books that? They don't book in San Francisco. I don't know, mate. Where's naming the place? Don't book us. I know. I like that. We're like, we have to have a group. We just... Uh, uh, plug everyone's thing. You're like, what the fuck, dude? All right, here we go. Check it out. Uh, I'm going to be uh, this, actually, this week it's already done. But if you're listening live, comics come home Saturday night. Uh, then I'm going to the Aruba gig. I'm going to be there, holy shit, fuck, to the 28th, I believe. I'm doing that. Uh, then I go straight to uh, American Comedy Club Woo! on the 30th through the uh, second, yeah. uh, I love that club. Great Dude. club. And then I'm going to San Antonio, LOL, Flores. with my hey. friend Mushy Mike's going to be there. Two brothers, uh, yeah. uh, got to go to two brothers, dog. And then we're gonna. I'm gonna actually do Yonkers, which is crazy. I'm gonna first time ever. It's ten minutes away from my house. I'm gonna do this gig <laughs> at the Ridge Hill Mall. It was Hot Comedy Club. They changed it to is it Yonkers. A new owner. New owner. 
Uh, mm. Guy's supposed to be a good guy. Nick yeah, DiPaolo the old works. Owner, the old owner's a piece of fucking that's, shit. That's what I heard. I'd this Sal guy's Volcano, a new guy. I had Sal Volcano from the Impractical Jokers tell everyone to throw bricks through the window of that place. Wow, this new guy's supposed to be legit. He changed be. the whole we thing. Will fuck him up. And then I'm doing the big <laughs> theater in uh, St. Petersburg with uh, Mike Calta Is that and their crew. And then the brokerage of that Saturday night, yeah. Gotham Comedy Club, right before Christmas with uh, Too Cute Mike Feeney and John Fish. Funny Bone Albany. Hey. Yeah. Comedy Shop. Hey. All right, dude, we get it. Jersey. You're working. Right. Comedy oh. Shop. Funny Bone picture. Hartford. I got it. Let's take a picture. Laugh Factory Chicago. Oh, Dan's got Governors it. McGuire. Magoobies. I'm a lot. RobertKellyLive.com. Guys, I love all three of you guys. I love you, too. And this my is, new crew. Six of us here. Yeah, I fucking love you guys, too. Instagram and all that crap. You guys like the videos? Love it. Great Mike, job. what you think, Great buddy? Job, Mike. Uh, at Mike V. Suarez. Uh, hey, guys, also, if you want to make videos, uh, just send them to us. So w- like an MBD producer. If you have any drops or anything like that you want to send us, we'd love to have yeah. them for you. Yeah, this is a new one. So. This, this is what Mike made of you, which I make, makes me <laughs> Did happy. Did you see Let that? It <laughs> uh, uh, makes me happy. Um, laughable.com. This app, if you listen to podcasts, you want to download this app. Uh, Laughable is probably the number one app out there for podcast listening. The great part about the app, it's it, it actually, uh, if you listen to me and Lewis is on it and you see Lewis, it will show you Lewis's face and then it will show you every other show, podcast he's on. And from there, you can find more podcasts, more people. And so on. it's a rabbit hole of awesome podcasts and awesome comedians you got to go download the app it's free laughable and they also start selling tickets off of there they're going to start uh, doing shows <laughs> if you have your own show they have their own ticketing system lou mm. so you can actually use them i to have sell my your own shows. Uh, my own ticketing platform through merchpump.com that's great all right so you, you don't cunt. um oh. <laughs> <laughs> where you guys can get ykwd hoodies and chip chip a merch as well do so, ykwd hoodie it's my favorite this is the new right. hoodie right favorite. here it's Merchpump.com so slash YKWD, guys. I, yeah, we're gonna, I was going to promote that last. Okay. But and check out the Truth shirts. Those are coming any day. Are yeah. they? No, we are. are. They? We are. They no, are I coming. I fucking reached out to you nine times and I you talked, four. I, I, was ta- on a boat. I talked to Ralph. I talked a boat. to Ralph. This is was... six months ago. Buddy, we had to get guys, these done first. Guys, if you want to send us fan stuff, um, send it to YKWD Podcast at the Comedy Cellar, 117 McDougal Street, New York, New York, 112. Send us things. Yeah, I got a really sexy voice. Thank you. But don't forget to brush your teeth, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. Up, 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 up. Please. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. Ooh. These hoodies. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Who's, I fu- who's the chick? These hoodies right now, I'm telling you, <laughs> so are amazing. Look at her name. Shut up. Let me fucking get it out. Dan, you fucking jerk. Listen, Dan, we have to take the picture. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Uh, stop, stop. Dan, don't leave. Wait. This this hoodie, I'm not even kidding you, buddy. It's the best hoodie I've ever had. I need one. Merch. Uh, <laughs> the, bl- the, 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 the sleeves are great. It's light but heavy. The color is awesome. YKWD, go get your hoodies right now. The wint is here, dude. Uh, and make sure you go. Uh, I'm merch pump too. You can get uh, Tuesday's shirts on there too. Yeah, we're gonna get the we're gonna get the uh, truth. The truth's coming up. Thank I'm gonna you. talk to Ralph. God today. damn, I'm so good at business. Here we go. Promote this too. Four hey, corners. Four corners. Yeah. What's rap? Riotcast.com. Four Marcus. corners. Lenny Marcus and his pal. What's his name? <laughs> Oh, fuck, I forgot. Neil. Jojo, Jojo Neil. the answer. I don't know. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for listening. You know what, dude? dude. Woo! You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.